Let me know if anyone's here and if you can hear me or not. What's going on, Siphonia? Balder? I can hear you, I'm sorry. Hello, Doc Peps, EA Flynn, YYYOP6, Abyssal Spirit, Krantix, Nacho Man, oh yeah, Shamus the Turtle, Ponguin, Brunerth, Gimpy Peanut, Revenge Hades, Speedy Gonzalez, Stochastic GD, Ashlyn, the Mar, Yaltabalth, thank you, Apollyon, for the 43 months. I appreciate it, dude. Thank you, thank you. What's good, Recon, Joyglass, Dridsy? Give me a sec. Where you at, dog? I'm, I'm right here. <laughs> what do you mean, where am I at? The fuck kind of question is that? How dare you? My room in Texas sweating my cock off. Sorry, I forget I'm not allowed to say cock anymore. Okay. Okie dokie. Thank you, Tremors, for the 25-month resub. I appreciate it, dude. Thank you very much. Hello, Imprian, Visku, Bandit, Sadowskovich, Hexray, Avin the Adept, Mez, Hunter Ark, Great Lord Nazareth, Captain Timo, why else? Mad Kate King. Botanical Rat, Ildaka. Residentian, Endless Finn. Amama, are you actually gonna play it tonight? Why wouldn't I? People play it before me and tell me tell me spoilers. Thank you, that do it for the three month resell. I appreciate it, dude. Thank you, thank you. Uh, thank you, Clay Young, for the 11-month resub. I appreciate it. I'm having a great evening. Well, I hope it gets better. Thank you, Arkin7411, for the 8-month resub. I appreciate it. Reaction stream on hold. I'm probably not going to do that because one of my mods is bitching at me, saying I'm a sellout, pay to win. And it pisses me off. So I'm canceling everything despite one person. What's going on, Rosden? Dixon? Game Boy? Sif is the origami killer. What's going on, Lice 176? SCP? Uh, Salatare? Anyone I missed? So, this is just a demo. Don't get too excited. It's not the full game, it's the demo. So, I don't know how long it's going to be. I don't know if it's going to be five minutes. I don't know if it's going to be three three hours. Who fucking knows? Uh, the title screen is interesting, though. Let's go on, Biddle Diddle. Scoop. Dungzinski. Veggie Fox. Zeta. Dickie MC. Gaben. Crimson Fucker. Shadow Drake. Darko Beat. Yaxa. I don't know what that one is, Yaxa. When Song of Time Before the Moon Crashes into you? I noticed that too. It's uh, called Termina and it's literally got the fucking Majora's Mask Moon in the background. So, an alternative uh, retelling of the Majora's Mask story. Thank you, Daring Destiny, for the 37-month resub. I appreciate it, dude. Thank you, thank you. Hello, Shay, Captain Crow. I hope Ben is in this one. What if this is just a... What if all of Fear and Hunger 1 was just a way to set up a Ben Drown creepypasta and that's what this is? Hello, Venarius. Oak Tree. Aviator. Is this from the guy who made Fear and Hunger? I don't know who else would make Fear and Hunger Termina, dude. Uh, yes, yes it is. It's just a demo, though, for now. Hello, Dad Dick. Clorox Chewable. Fancy Lab. Thank you, Legrand, for the 19 months. A little Pepper Witch. All right, well, why, why don't why don't we play a fucking video game? What's going on, Mako? Big B. Canonical. Thank you, Dirty Dan, for the 13 months. I appreciate it. Thank you. Text glitching every so often is a nice subtle effect. I like it. It's pretty cool. 
Little clergy. I've never seen you play a game before in my life. I played RuneScape last night. What's going on, Matoko? <laughs> this is always a good start. He said on Twitter that it's significantly more tame, at least the demo. So I think it'll be okay, but we'll... This is probably going to be my last stream. These are our class choices. Uh, Ex-soldier or occultist? Hello, shish motive. Tentacle Rat, you're the one who's vetting every one of those videos. What do you think I should be? <laughs> it's it, The ball is in your court, Captain Beast Horse. Cult of the Rat. A cult? We're going a cult. Oh, wow. Okay, so that's the lady who's stabbing the guy in the armpit. Thank you, 500 Teeth Dino, for the two months. I appreciate it, you fuck. What's going on? Uh, thank you for the host, Electric Raichu. What's going on, Chrysin? Uh, what should our name be? We don't look very Jimin-y. Although Jimin is apparently a girl name, too. There's a girl named Jimin as well. Thank you, Hero W, for the 29-month resub. I appreciate it, dog. Jimina. Is this acceptable? <laughs> Is this alright? Okay, let's get into it. I'm curious to see how this is going to be. Skip the character history? Fuck no, but I'm glad they give you that option. But that option sucked in the first one. Soothing sound of the rail tracks. You're not used to such peaceful and tranquil atmosphere. You can't help but let your mind wander. You reminisce what has led you to this point in life. You were born to the Church of Almer. That's Jesus, uh, if you if you didn't see the playthrough of the first game. That's the dude who we gave a boner. Uh, for many generations, your lineage took part in the most wicked of rituals, only to appease gods of the Forgotten Age. A life of... A dark priest is cruel, even if the modern times overlook the most archaic and ancient rites. In many ways, you were lucky, though. Your mother did not take as active part in the religion as your father did, and she wanted you to avert the lifelong commitment to the older gods. It is typical that the eldest son of the family continues the work of his father, and the ones that follow or those who are girls will get more leeway. Well, that's fucked. So despite your origin, your mother made sure you would appear feminine when your father... F Wait. Oh. You grew up at a church in a city called Prihavl. You started your religious studies at a fairly young age. You were given an option to choose which line of studies you would pursue, something completely unheard of with the likes of male dark priests. So we're, we're Gwendolyn, basically. Uh, thank you, Yaxa, for the resub. I appreciate it, dude. Thank you very much. I mean, blood magic. You learn necromancy. Oh, boy. <laughs> it's gonna be the return of Jonald the Skeleton. You proved out to have great talent as an occultist and slowly even the holy city of Vatican and their Ministry of Darkness heard about your feats. The final boss is going to be the Pope. Gonna fight him in the Vatican. You were offered a spot to further educate yourself, and it was a no-brainer, really. You would get away from the watching eye of your stuck-up father, and you'd finally be able to freely express yourself. Your mother was, of course, very proud of you. She always was. Your father, on the other hand, seemed almost jealous of you. At the Ministry of Darkness, Vatican City, the first thing all the students at the school would get to do was to choose the god they'd let inside them. Well, I would, I would pick Gunter. Uh, oh, shit. So you actually get the God of Fear and Hunger in this one. Okay. Hmm. 
Isn't that the little girl? Yeah, uh, spoiler alert for Fear and Hunger 1 for the two of you who are worried about that. In the events of the first game, the, the small child in a cage at the beginning, uh, and one of the endings becomes the god of fear and hunger. So I guess that's the, that's the canon ending for this one. We'll just pick the god of fear and hunger. Your affliction with the said god grew greatly. Which was Jesus' boner god? Almer. And Grogoroth is basically Satan. Everything was going well with your studies until one day you got a letter from home. It was written by your father. This was very strange. You had had no contact with him since your departure. The letter told that your mother had passed away. The words were cold and without sympathy. You tried calling your home, but the telephone exchange couldn't connect to any phone in the pre havelian area. You had a suspicion that your father had something to do with this. He had always been too obsessed with the blood magic, and you had learned that there are too many rites that demand blood of your loved ones. There's no other way you had to prepare for a trip back, back home to pre -Hevel. Okay, so... There's no longer an option to just speed there and get dash at the beginning, which is good because that was overpowered. Um, Reed would probably give us another ability of some sort. And the other two are self-explanatory. Do we want to be a fucking Turbo Virgin nerd and read? You get Skin Bible! Rare. The Skin Bible, huh? Holy fuck, okay. How long has it been? It feels like a lifetime since you left the town. Skip the intro? Fuck no. I'm falling asleep. Uh-oh. Free bleeders leaving uh, satanic rituals with her... <laughs> with her stuff. I feel like someone was watching you while you slept. Okay, so let's see. Oh, yeah, yeah, what the, what's the book? Strong cult book written in the medieval times by Anki Ankari, and that's the necromancer. Um, that's the necromancer from the first game. So the necromancer from the first game wrote the skin bibles, I guess. But I don't know who Rur is. Or Rare, or however you pronounce it. That wasn't in the first one. Oh no, okay, that's the name of the moon god. It didn't have a name before. The trickster moon god, also known as the ever-watching god in some parts of the world. Not much is known about the role of the trickster god in the greater scheme of things. He's maintained great secrecy over his ways. Just looking at the night sky, you can see his presence, sleeping his eternal sleep. This will lead you to think he's a passive god. Yet time after another, his cult and followers have meddled with the mankind in the course of human history. In the most ancient of writings, Rur is depicted as a god of the insane, the trickster of the madness. His blessing to men is his moonlight, which is said to uncover the truth wherever it touches. This truth, in turn, is said to be too much for feeble human mind. Further investigations on the subject suggest that this is only a tool used to trick those. The question is motives. His greatest trick being the fact that no one believes the word this god utters. The moon god lives up to his reputation. Even I, the all-knowing writer of this book, am puzzled by his existence. Mark of Rur raises the maximum capacity of the mind. The text includes the signal of Rur and instructions on how to use it. Okay. Can't help but notice we're level 2 again like we were in Fear and Hunger. I wonder if there's going to be experience. Okay. Talking to yourself or the voices inside won't save your sanity. Okay. Let's talk to these assholes. Excuse me. No answer. You can move diagonally in this game, which is the best change they, they made, for sure. I wish they would uh, go back to Fear and Hunger 1 and, and give you that ability. Man with a hat. No one wants to talk to me. Let's go let's go rob this briefcase. Find a moldy bread, all delicious. 
pile of suitcases has been left here without supervision. Door of the previous cabin is locked from the other side. Looking through the window, the cabin seems pitch black. Okay. It's a great emote. I'm glad you like it. I'm not going to be reading chat so much while I play this. Uh, hopefully you understand. If I missed anyone, uh, hello. I hope you're doing well. But it's fucking fear and hunger time. We're gaming. We're, we're gaming. Thank you, dang man, for the 17 months. I appreciate it, dog. Another suitcase. Let's open it up. Another moldy bread. Well, people just love keeping this shit in suitcases, apparently. And a yellow vial. <laughs> a Jimin vial. Something feels off about these suitcases. Second one, it's just a demo. Don't get don't get too excited. Uh, this is just the demo. It literally came out like four or five hours ago. Um, so I'm gonna play it, but it's not the full game. This place is not the train anymore. Janitor, you. I've been looking for you everywhere. So where do you think you ran off to? Don't you understand the hurry we're in? I, I don't understand. The eyes of the janitor bulge out from their sockets as his expression intensifies. No one expects you to. You're a stupid fucking human, after all. Now get your ass back to the workbench. Your last chance, next time I will punish. What am I supposed to do? You're supposed to assemble new cubes, of course. As for how, figure it out yourself. If you're not capable of that much, you're beyond hope and useless in every sense of the word. This is, I'm pretty sure this is how iPhones are made. What you Googling at? There's no- no Google is allowed here. This is an iPhone factory, you dumb bitch. Get back to work. Thank you, ZZ, for the 14-month resub. I appreciate it, dude. Thank you, Massanoi, for the four-year resub. Good God. Thank you, thank you. There's nothing to see here. Eyes on the cubes. My eyes aren't down there, you fuck. Work or I'll rip those eyes out of your pretty face. You directional keys to assemble the cubes. Oh, I get it. Okay. Psst. Now's our chance. He isn't looking. Follow me. This seems like a bad idea. This seems like a, like it's not going to go well. Where do you think you're going? Yep, it's fear and hunger. Can I talk to him? Stupid human, stupid human imbecile. Slit your throat and flay you alive. That'll teach you. Play me, I'll finish the job on your back after we're done here. You'll see, you'll see there. Fate's worse than death. The janitor doesn't care about your threats. Okay, he hit me with stump arm. Oh, and then he fucking killed me. I'll teach you to run away, gya gya. Let's see you dash around like a little jailbird without these chicken thighs of yours. Thank you, Pearl, for the 43 months. I appreciate it, dude. This is what I get for doing the same thing to Hank in the other game. The janitor walked away to get more materials for the cubes. The diagonal nugget movement. Thank you, ELP Spawn, for the three-month resub. I appreciate it, dude. 
Fear of everything. Yeah, that was in the first game as well. That's messed up. Oh, dude, if you think this is messed up, you should have seen Fear and Hunger 1. This is... This is, like, par for the course. Uh, this nothing, nothing extraordinary has happened at this point. Although getting both of your legs chopped off early game is kind of rough. What's going on, King of Kieran? Body horror is fucked, in my opinion. Gotcha. Oh, shit. This is the, uh... Oh, man. This is straight up, uh, the dude from the first game. Got the skinned motherfucker here. You got Francois. All of the new gods are here. Cool. This is fucking... <laughs> this is a wild beginning compared to the first one, now. Ah, there you are. Mysterious person greets you in a monotonous voice. The person's speech drags on to the point. It sounds almost painful for every word to come out. Got you pulled out of that nasty place. You were going deep into that rabbit hole. To show his goodwill, my master has mended your wounds and tatters this once. What joy. Now you are safe under the beautiful green hue of the moon. What the fuck's happening? Do not worry, your questions will get their answers in time. Since our words could not possibly reach my master, I speak in his behalf. Master being the delinquent one. Rur, the trickster moon god, of course. So he's very clearly taking a major role in this game. And me, you can call me Percolé. I'm just a humble servant of his celestial majesty. You are the dreamer, he is the dream. The master has invited 14 of you to join us in this jubilee of cosmic proportions. 14 candidates, but only one of you has value. The festival of Termina is upon us. What is the festival of Termina? It's a festival to give you, the humans, a peak to grandeur and a chance for illustrious reality. Festival to end all festivals. This must be all very confusing to you, so I won't burden you with any more information at this very moment. Pocket Cat followed the Moon God right, correct. As you progress further, my master will gladly answer more questions. Let us meet again under the moonlight. The weird fucking jellyfish who you could give the little girl to in order to heal your limbs is also... Uh, a servant of the moon god. You wake up suddenly. Was it all just a dream? The train, it seems to have stopped. Okay. Do you still have the bread? It looks like it. The suitcase is open. Let me see. Let me, let me double check. Oh, wrong one. Yep. Monkey coin to be used in dire situations. Hold shift while choosing heads or tails to boost your chances. Wait, what's the shilling do? Is this currency? Okay. Can play this on stream now. Yeah, he said that the uh, the second game was a lot less fucked up than the first one. Has no, yeah, they said that in the in the tutorial. They're biologically male, but they were raised as a woman. But we already saw Dick. Well, there's Dick in plenty of games. Like fucking Outlast has big old un like uncut cocks. That's that's no big deal. Like wait until like the bunny orgies or or 
the Harvest Men come into the situation. Man in the suit is talking to himself. What to do, what to do, I'm late already so late. Can you see it in the pause menu? I don't know if that's intentional. Oh shit. That must be the best course of action for now. You interrupt the discussion. Oh, hi. You finally woke up. What's going on here? Hello, Noodle. You must be just as clueless as the rest of us. The train left us all here. The outskirts of the city. The train personnel are all gone. No explanations. Not from the city, are we? It shouldn't be too far. A short hike, and you should get there. Some of the people already headed towards the place. In any case, our plan was to stay and wait here. Someone has to come for the train sooner or later. So if you're not in a hurry, I'd recommend just taking a seat inside and relaxing. Don't want to interrupt your chatting, but I can't stand this idleness any longer. Which way was that stinking town again? The others went that way, so that must be it. Before you go, aren't we going to go through the dream stuff with the new girl? We saw it too, right? Everyone saw it. The moon, the girl in pink, the festival of Termini. It all felt too real to pass off as just a dream. Not this talk again. We should have asked that army pig, that fucking Bremen pig. He was in way too much of a hurry to leave. I bet he knew something. I bet this is some fucked up army experiment. They had these kinds of hallucinogens experimented on, on war prisoners before. But now that the war is over, they have to get their guinea pigs elsewhere. I wish I had your capacity and feist, but I really have a hard time believing every conspiracy theory floating around. I'm a journalist. I've covered wars, you know. I don't need so uh -oh, I some eye patch foreigner telling me what's possible and what's not. I've covered wars too, you know. All men and women for the past decade have covered wars. What's your point again? There are no chemicals that create hallucinations like that. I've tried them all. I'm a doctor, you know. Okay. Okay, retard, was the response there. What now? Do whatever you see best. We're going to have to kill all these motherfuckers, aren't we? like a weird fucked up fear and hunger game show thing going on hosted by the moon god oh i'm gonna go loot the house rotten meat on a platter don't mind if i do there are maggots crawling inside the piece uh-oh a bear trap this is definitely fear and hunger one right here a shotgun shell Holy fuck. We're gonna get to shoot people. Because this takes place way in the future, as evidenced, uh, evidenced by the Vatican being a legitimate city in this uh, game. I hope we get to go to the Vatican at some point. And trains. Hey, yeah, trains too. Same universe, yeah. At the beginning in the character uh, tutorial thing, we aligned with the god of fear and hunger. Let me talk to all these guys. The army barricade suggests that maybe there's something to that crazy theory of hers. Something doesn't seem right here. He doesn't seem to be interested in small talk. Oh, hi. I'm a bit busy right now. I'm trying to check if I get the train in working order again. Not just that the train stopped, but for some reason it won't start up either. Yes, but you look at that behind. Are you dead serious? If you keep that up, I'll come up with better use for this wrench. Nothing wrong. Harmless admiration. I guess you get inside. The mist is creeping in. Okay. The forest bed here is very fascinating. There seems to be all kinds of me medical herbs growing around. Uh, marijuana. 
What is it that you want? What business do you have here? I'm here for the festival, of course. I know you should know too, the secrets are painted on the wall as clear as the day. Not as clear as Prehevelian day, of course. It's quite misty here. Maybe there's some wisdom in that too. Yellow mage is gonna start dancing. Gonna blow my fucking legs off and I'm gonna be a nugget again at the very beginning. The herbs look different, I guess, this time around. Aren't they fucking crazy? Uh, every, everyone's crazy in this game. Pick up a green herb. Can I pick these up? No. Look at my sexy little pigtails. Take the green herb. Bless you, Sif. I don't know why you're belching. Gotta be something for just sitting in the train for an hour. Oh, I need to eat. Eat some moldy bread, why not? Picked up lavender. Long intro, yeah. There's not only a long intro, but uh, holy shit. A little rat man there. Uh... The addition of other, like, so many new characters that actually have a uh, role in the story instead of them just being rare occurrences in the first game is an interesting turn of events. Three-headed crow need three shotgun shells per head. I'm trying to see if I can find something off the beaten path. What's going on, Just a Gamer John? This diagonal movement is making me wet. Miss the lonely atmosphere? Yeah, this is going to be very different from an atmosphere perspective. That's that's abundantly clear. I will see. I'm sure it's going to be good. It's just going to be good in a different way. What's this, Hugo? Come on, you're not going to let me out? Go inside the house? I already did. There's just some rotten meat that we took off of a plate. No music or is my volume low? Let me turn it up. There is kind of music, but it's not very loud. Like every once in a while, it'll be like, eh, 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 eh. Okay, let's see what's over here. An eerie silence fills the air devoid of any life. Hear something from a hat. Termina is upon us. That's fucking loud. Okay, let me turn it back down a bit. Let's go down Canarota. Body is badly mutilated. Search it. Nothing of value. I was hoping it would let me jump down Shit Pit Volume 2. Thank you, Bruins are, be are the best for the Prime Sub. I appreciate it, dog. Thank you very much and enjoy the, the best emotes on Twitch.television. Thank you, Cifroni and Cheese, for the 42 month resub. I appreciate it, dog. Thank you very much. What's going on, Philly? Something changed. The dev said that this one was going to be a lot more tame. So we'll see. There's a lone goat here. It seems to be minding its own business, completely ignoring your presence. Pat it. Pat it, said, Absolutely no reaction. His glassy eyes stare right through you. I, uh,. I'm scared of goats after the Critters for Sale game. Almost feels like the goat thinks so highly of itself that it doesn't need to acknowledge you. Investigate. The goat stares in the distance with its glassy eyes. At the first glance, the creature seems harmless, but upon further investigating, you are met with feelings of great dread. Can't really explain why this is.
Goat paralysis video? No, no. Critters for sale. There was, uh... I don't... It was a game we played on Game Jolt. It looked really fucking crazy. It was like this black and white shit. And that one of the episodes had a goat that if you looked at it... And if you brought it with you and looked at it, it would end up killing you and your friend. Smash like the candle? Sure. Oh, there's a fucking TV. Sounds neat. It was a cool little game. It was really fucking off the wall, though. Like, your your friend ended up betraying you and becoming, uh, like, a satanic overlord who became the lead singer of Death Grips. Is that the Michael Jackson? Yeah, it was the one with Michael Jackson in it. We played some weird shit over the last year. Dirty trains left on the table. It looks like blood. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> Cookies are awesome. Just gifted 50 subs. Holy shit. Good grief. God damn. Uh, thank you, Cookies, for putting Hot Grills, Dark Beetle, Off Calls to Boss, Deity, Moist, Pappy, Voltax, Hoppo Chan, Kicklechem3000, and the Cuck Shed. Thank you, West Gray Fox, for the three month resub. I'm here to support the best Sif on Twitch Television. Hope you're holding up well. I'm doing good. Thanks for asking. Uh, Cookies also put Stratejos11, Domin, Sneaky, Horn of Bifidia, Karatheon, Kukukachu, Fua, Sombrero Cactus, Sakamoto Kenji, Digital Fruitcake, Gameplay Booster, DRG Dine, DGS2K8, Nonohi, Arfafax, Barlog, General Steel, Minchin, Netflux TM, Crystal Magic Weapon, Ten Course, Sponge Cat Dog, Knocked Argia, King Maskey, anything. Profit, easy to remember, freeze dry, flawless bacon strips, horse sloth, zork, soramar, double P2K, Texas Hunter Dog, Isaac Arius, Ayla Mao, Warp Drive, Shy Dragon 22, Nefarious, Spectrum Warrior 1, 7450, Norris Finder, and Rune Hecat in the cock shed. I appreciate it, dog. Thank you very much. God damn. God damn. Oh, I, I think I see how this is. It's a weird, it's a weird perspective. How many was that? 50. Get a Padoro emote. Never. I don't believe in that. The basement seems to be heavily locked up with a specific key. Listen. No sounds coming from down there. Whatever is inside is meant to stay there. There's blood. What's going on, Haley Hero? The ambience is really good, just like in Fear and Hunger 1 so far. Sonichu came back. She did. She did. Thankfully. She doesn't seem particularly eager to leave now. Suitcase is empty. Okay. Bookshelf for anything interesting. You find the Book of Enlightenment. I remember that one. It's the one that lets you save, right? Yep. I remember this. Cool. We gotta save, because I don't want to go through that intro again if we end up getting fucked. Oh shit. There's a crucifix with uh, Almer on there. It looks just like him, minus the cock. I need to find the key. I wonder what the fuck is down there. Only go through the character history. By the way, that's true. I forgot about that. Hmm. I wonder if the key's in here somewhere and if I need to explore better to find it. Because I really want to see what's down there. Waiting for something to, like, chop all of my limbs off and, and fuck me. In a figurative sense, of course. Okay. In Minecraft? Yeah, in Minecraft. What's going on, Adam? How you been? Hello, baby. What's up? 
Hello, Billy. Okay, I don't think the key's gonna be here. Broken mirror, someone didn't like their appearance. Yeah, I did that. 30 issues on the table, there's a crucifix of the Elmer on the wall. The bed looks dirty and smells bad. Heavy breathing through your sleep. Oh, fuck. You were assaulted by the woodsman. The woodsman approaches you ominously. There's silent rage in his eyes, a sense of terror fills the air. What's going on here? Your words are in vain, the woodsman is clearly out for blood. Okay, do I have an item I can use? <laughs> Appendage, eh? Nope, he got me. Just chopped me up. What are the three triangles? I have no idea. It's a good thing we got that save, though. Um... If we can get two hits on the arm, we might be able to, uh, kill him. Presuming his other body parts don't have attacks. Can only save once? Yeah. In Fear and Hunger 1, you only got one safe save until a certain point in the game. Like, you get the ability to save whenever you want, but it's not something you start out with. What's over here? We haven't been this way. Maiden Forest. Did he hit you with the offhand the first time? He may have. I wasn't paying close attention, honestly. Oh, shit. Sprite work is amazing here. If you like this, you should definitely watch the Fear and Hunger 1 VODs. That shit was amazing. It's, it's probably the best stream I've ever done. Best streams. So we've all been... Oh, shit. We've all been waiting for this one. Is that on YouTube? It should be. I have it saved on his highlights on Twitch, though. I know that for a fact. Um, I don't like the noises those dudes are making. Saying it's improved since one gotcha. Yeah, I kind of want to fight him. I guess that's what's going to happen. Mysterious beast approaches you with saliva dripping from its gaping mouth. Creature seems to be in hunting mode. Prepare to die. Maybe it likes Dark Souls. Maybe we can strike up a rapport here. Black vomit. Sizzling vomit. Toothless bite. Ouch. The headless is panting. The headless is panting. Okay, we killed one. Hold on. I'm, uh... I'm almost assuredly fucked here. I was hoping one of those would cure poison. I don't remember. No, I don't think the, the herbs ever cured poison. Disregard that. I'm dumb. Okay. Uh, we need to cure our hunger, too. Let me get a wait. I just hate when your vomit sizzles. Yes. What's going on, J left W? Thank you, Weed Love and Pandas, for the two month resub. I appreciate it, dog. Thank you very much. Okay. Might as well eat rotten meat. You're already poisoned. Uh, true. Am I stuck? No, I'm good. Good. 
Let's get those paws. It probably has fewer attacks. To get the paws. Okay. The rev up mechanic seems to increase your damage substantially. Thank you, Petrocles, for the three months. I appreciate it, dog. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Prime mate, thank you. Monstrosity's down. Dude, look at all these fucking options. Holy shit, there are five things that we're apparently going to be able to do that we can't yet. Good god, okay. Creature has nothing of worth, and we could still kick them. Looks like Demon Seed's <laughs> made a return. Maybe we can wear the dog. Doors locked seems like someone has tried to force it open and the lock me mechanism is busted because of that. Oh shit. Barrel feels heavy, but you can't get. Oh, oh, hold on, hold on. Okay. Old rusty hatch here. Open it. Smell of rot a meat strikes immediately on you upon opening the hatch. Seems to be some kind of maintenance hall going deep underground. Spec, you can I hear see anything that's down there? I don't want to go in there just yet. I feel like there's way more shit to explore first. And we should look for some herbs to heal before we go down there too. Maybe you can kill him now. I don't know, dude. I'm like one hit from dead and I'm poisoned. I want to kill him because then maybe we can get the key for the house. Was that guy 100% enemy? Yeah, he's killed us before when we tried to sleep in the house. Okay. Let me see if I can scrounge some shit up here. Not literal shit. I'll see. There's like little pathways through the woods. So we got to keep an eye out for. Oh, holy fuck. Yawn. Awaken from my slumber. Is it time yet? It is time. What nuisance. I wait for Venusia. Do not wake me again, worm. I, uh, kind of want to wake him again. Can't, it doesn't appear that I can interact with them, so let me let me walk back. Hmm. Okay. Doesn't seem like there's much. maybe I fucked the dialogue up and something could have happened. Okay. Maybe you can sleep in the bed now? Maybe. That's that's a big maybe. What's going on, Karate? Damn, this is pretty flushed out for a demo so far. I was I was kind of expecting it to be shorter, honestly. Demos don't usually last more than fifty minutes. A heroin? Are you fucking kidding me? Heroin's an item now. I had to do a double take on that one. Oh. Well, another feature is back. Uh, the feature where where the game fucking crashes. I'm glad that that one's back. Uh, some things never change. Give me a second to bring the game back up. Too much heroin crashed the game. Nothing I could do. That kind of sucks. Don't do drugs total. I need to message him about that and see if like he can find out why that happens. Cause that shit's no good. Okay. And now the thing that sucks. Oh fuck, are you kidding me? Oh my god. I got I got fucked, dude. Okay. 
We can skip all of the dialogue and shit, though, so that's that's okay. I had to save. Classic fear, and hunger. classic fear and hunger. Let's go to Meat Man Spartan. Okay. Thankfully, the the thing about these games is it's pretty exploration based. So once you know what you're doing, it doesn't take too long to get. Oh shit, a meat pie. Didn't take too long to get back going. Okay. See your save? Yes, it seems that way. What abilities do you have for skipping intro? Let me check. That's a good question. Engrave. Engrave a sigil on a person. Oh man, that sounds fucked up. That doesn't sound very good at all. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hopefully I can just skip this. I think I can. Oh, fuck. I, I, I auto-scrolled. Can't wait to watch you play the full game. Yeah, it's going to be dope, hopefully. I hope my username is relevant to this game. It is. The thing that stings the most is, uh, I'm not gonna have that fucking bear trap. That bear trap against the lumberjack was really good. Okay. Come on. Rip bear trap, we'll find the way. Maybe you'll find it in the same place. No, if it's anything like Fear and Hunger, it's like the loot is is, is randomly generated. Like, we got a meat pie and bullets from the luggage in the train instead of moldy bread this time, for example. Like, there are some things that are static, like the herbs, but there's not that much. Do you have another skin bible? Let me check. Nope. I got engraving instead of the skin bible, I guess. Try a different talk option with Antler, dude. I will. What's going on, Anthony and Valk? No, the game came out four hours ago. Two knives? Oh, wait, do I have knives? Oh, I thought I had knives. Oh, I do. You mean these? I thought I had throwing knives, which are the most overpowered items in Fear and Hunger 1. Pet pills. What are those? High raises your awareness. The withdrawal tires you out. So there's going to be withdrawal, I guess. You can actually use drugs that are going to have positive and negative effects. So we're fallout now. Vial of oil. And a yellow vial. Smoke some jet. A vegetable pine. Some good shit. A glass file. Not good shit. And then we got our heroin. Cool. We got the heroin back. Highly addictive pain medication. Oh, see, look at how fl more fleshed out the, the buffs and shit are. Like, it gives you a state. I, I'm guessing that's what you feel like when you're on heroin. That little image there with all the rainbow colors. Um. Then you have the state, which... I, I'll learn what that does eventually, but right now I don't really have much of a clue. But drugs will probably help for killing that lumberjack dude. Mm. So it seems like there's already pretty big differences from the main game. Also, there's once again no experience because I killed those dogs and I didn't get XP. Uh, so it's another game where there's not going to be leveling up, which I didn't like at first in Fear and Hunger, but by the end of it, I actually like that. Um, okay. Because if you, if you don't have any leveling up whatsoever in the game, then it makes it a lot harder to accidentally <laughs> level up too much and trivialize parts of the game, you know? If you balance around it properly. No use for leveling in this game. I agree. Not every game needs RPG elements. Alright. Got a pretty 
pink skirt and ready to fucking go. Came by like one dude too. For the most part. I think he gets help in various, uh, for things. I don't know specifically. But the majority of it is just one dude. Okay. What's the point of having a level then? Uh, no point. Just like the first game you started off at level 2. It's just a feature. Can you necro the corpse? No, I had necromancy last time and it wouldn't let me. Let's go. Does this go to the town too? Yes. I wonder if there's any like super secret hidden shit in this demo. If I were a game dev, I'd, I'd do that. Small hut. Oh no. <laughs> I know what this is. I know what this is. Try to fit in through the hole, and what do you know? It's big enough. You are knee-deep in feces. The walls are slippery and slimy. Can't seem to get a grip from anywhere. Was it a mistake jumping down here? It's literally the exact same shit, Pit. Epic. Alright, game gets a 10 out of 10 for me. <laughs> 10 out of 10. Right, you, you just can't beat it. Should've used your heroin in the shit pit solo? Yeah, maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Okay. You wake up suddenly. Now I'm not going to have my heroin. One pit actually has something. That'd be fucked up if, it, if that's how it works. In the shit pit, there's nothing I can do. I found a carrot. Fuck yeah, dude. Now I'm not going to go blind from masturbating. And a shotgun shell. I'm going to shove that up my hoo-ha. Some ammo. God, imagine when we get a gun and we could just shoot the lumberjack in the fucking head. <laughs> See, I'm glad they just let you not talk to these people. You can just skip this bullshit. You don't have to you don't have to suffer these fools. I think we know what the carrot will be used for. Ex-soldier start with a gun, maybe? Perhaps. I wonder if the ex-soldier is the, the yellow guy. Because I know the yellow guy is supposed to be a playable character, but I don't know if he's going to be the ex-soldier. Mouse cursor on screen, my bad. My bad. I'm sorry. I hope you can find it in your hearts to forgive my uh, transgression. A bone saw. We all know what that's good for. I believe he's just called Yellow Mage. It makes sense. Because that's what he was in the first game. Nugget time. Bottle of vodka. What's going on, Casey? Rotten meat. I don't really mind restarting so far. Because I get to see all the new items and shit. We're going to have to try to do everything in this. We're going to have to try to find all of it today. I don't know how much there's going to be, but we got to... I want to I wanna play the full game already. What's going on, Skullduggery? Is this demo free? Yep. You can download it right now if you'd like, and I recommend you do so. Because uh, the game dev deserves more support than what he gets. He's a fucking cool dude. He makes dope-ass video games. Uh... And if you've never seen these games before and you like what you see, uh, buy and play Fear and Hunger 1. It's kind of like this, except it's fully fleshed out. Uh, he's updated it several times for free. 
So, uh, good fucking dev. Uh, 10 out of 10 sad crying rats. When is this game out? He hasn't given a full release. He says it's a while away, though. So, I would say at minimum next summer. At the earliest. But that's probably... It's probably gonna take longer than that. Why are the rats crying? That's just... That's our rating system. Honestly, not too bad. No, he does good work. He does good work. Fear and Hunger 1 does the block puzzle outside the city reset if you leave the room? Yes. music while you explored in the first game there'd be yeah it, it depends on the area there was music sometimes it was fully fledged music when you got further in the game early on it was just kind of ambient noises like what we're dealing with right now played much of the demo yet not well i don't really have a frame of reference i've been playing for about an hour um abilities did you get this time i imagine it's the same usually in the first one you just had like a a, a Default loadout if you were to skip the character creation. What's going on, Bear? Can you attack any doors? It doesn't look like it so far. Excuse me. Okay, let's try lighting the candles. One of the biggest things for me that felt like a missed opportunity in the first one is you can light all of these sconces, candles, etc., but it never really had any reason to do so. So I wonder if that's going to be different in this one. Wasn't the cat in the first game sacrificing kids to the moon god? Yes, the cat who was masturbating when you talked to him uh, was a servant of the trickster moon god, who was a minor character in the last game, but uh, doesn't appear so minor in this one. Seems like he's probably the antagonist. Oh, me neither, Araloth. That shit's fucked. You just can't win. You just can't win. New poems of love and torment. Okay, let's let's see what that is. Famed poet Ron Shambara. That's the god of torment, the skin motherfucker in the first game. Black and Heart. I think this was a book from the first one. Stakes are high. You are also. And more so, live your lie and play with my blood torso. An artist. Who would believe all your tries to blacken my name, Dead Crow, is a prize? They say that a tear only dries, so I want to see the day even Grogoroth cries. Well, I, I... You should watch my VOD then, author of the book, because I fucked him solo. <laughs> you, you, you could have you seen that day. It's already, uh, it's already come. And so have I. They will come to know this day as the Cruel Age. Thank you, Dirty Potato, for the 22-month resub. I appreciate it. They will come to know this page as the fourth phase, Won't You Die. Cool. Hmm. I want to know what's behind this fucking door. Is the coin mechanic back? I know it is, even though I haven't seen it, because there's an item called the Lucky Coin that apparently uh, you press shift during a coin toss, and it either influences your your chances or outright wins the roll. I don't know yet. Um, so if you're in hunger, is fine. I didn't finish the endings. I didn't either, because the game kept fucking crashing at the very last fight with Francois. So... Like, as much as I love the game, uh, I seem to be the only person who has this issue. Uh, no one else seemed to ever have the problem that I do. It's like my computer specifically. So, I really should message him about that, huh? Crash 2? Gotcha, okay, so. It's not just me. This Tolomeo luck? I suppose so. What's this? Red herb. Find three matches. Like, we have a lot of things to do. We have to explore this town. We have to kill the dude when he attacks us in the bed. Or uh, kill him when he's guarding the tunnel. We have to go in the tunnel. Uh, 
God. There appears to be a basement right here. It won't open. It's locked from the other side. Thank you, Badman35647, for the three months. Uh, this looks kind of fucked. Bloody Ritual Crucifix. You used to have these in the olden times, but you never see one in person. Smell and sight of the sacrificed corpses is repulsive. You feel like throwing up. Bloody toilet hole, the seatings are covered. Blood, feces, and semen. What if there really is, like, one hole that actually leads to something? Oh, what's going on, pocket cat? Why semen? You ever just jack off while taking a shit? Why would he put more than one TBH? <laughs> we'll worry about that later. I wanna, I wanna see the the actual content first before we try that. I will try it at some point, but right now I'm gonna. I got more important shit to do. Find a pipe. Matches and pipes. Really dog shit items so far. Uh oh. Oh, what the fuck is this? Oh, he's faster than I am. A man with a pigskin gas mask is pursuing you furiously. Thank you, Mad Meat, for the seven month resub. I am. How are you? Sound effect. This is gonna break the canister and fuck us, I know it will. Oh, maybe not. Okay, they nerfed tackle damage, at least on this guy. Thank God for that. Oh, holy shit, if you rev up twice, you, you attack twice. I wonder what happens when you do it three times. Because if you rev up once, you get more damage. If you rev up twice, you attack twice. Ooh, that's gonna be interesting, then. That's gonna be a neat mechanic. Because there's, there's probably gonna be some instances where you would want just a one rev up, or you'd want to save for a three rev up. That seems kind of neat. Dude, holy shit, there are too many motherfuckers. I found a tomato. Lone villager stumbles on your path. Okay. That fuck then, probably. Oh, he missed too. Oh, shit! Yo, uh... I'm outie, dude. <laughs> Fuck that. <laughs> Fuck that. He can place a fucking bear trap down. I'm guessing you want a gun at that point. Okay, so there's an opening here. Oh, shit. Alright, I don't want to fight that guy, so let's see what's down here. Nothing on the shelf catches your interest. I need to eat. Hold on. What's this? Find a lucky coin, cool. Bear trap, cool. We could try to go fuck that one asshole up again. What's going on, B underscore the first? 
Oh shit. Wooden chest here, open. Find a Dragoon helmet, holy fuck, okay. I'll take it. That sounds pretty good. Did you hold shift? I tried. I think I got the wrong button. Where is it? Hold shift while cho Okay, I have to hold it while choosing. I just pressed it and held it. Find the four ages of modern history. What's going on, Nurgle? It's pretty good so far. It's definitely fear and hunger. Let's read this. Four ages of modern history, the modern age and the modern chronology begins from the birth of our Lord, the Ascended One, Almer. There are many fabricated religious texts about Almer. There's enough evidence to prove that Almer did indeed exist as a real person at the time. His birth would mark as the first age. The second age started from his the reign of the so-called new gods near 410. There are texts about different new gods prior to this event, and the concept did exist in ancient times as well, but this group of people included the famed warlord from the Eastern Sanctuaries, Nashro the Great. Uh, that's the asshole head wizard from the first game. This alone made this group more distinguished compared to the ones that came before. Their world started... The world order started a slow decline a few hundred years after their deaths, only to be ended by the Fellowship around year 800. The popular book, The Fellowship, inspired the contemporary people of the time and lifted the four people of the Fellowship, Francois, Shambara, Nilvin, and Valtail, to a near godlike status. Their age would last until the end of the 16th century, which is the end of uh, the first game because we killed all of them. The Western world was in a dark age at the time, and out of nowhere appeared a new idol of worship, the god of fear and hunger. People forgot the teachings of the old in times of diseases and death and turned on to this new savior hour. The appearance of the God of Fear and Hunger started the Fourth Age, in which mankind had to learn to adapt and evolve. As times have progressed, we are still living according to this ideology. Okay. So this is our fault. Let's take that pipe off. Dude, fuck my hit rate. I gotta use the bear trap. Oh, you asshole. You asshole. What a piece of shit. Oh my god. Oh, that's what the lucky coin does. Light blue vial. Okay, that's exactly what we needed. So the lucky the lucky coin lets you uh, roll twice. Cool. That's very, very, uh, very helpful. Find occult grimoires. Okay. Occult grimoires, magic and theory and practice written by Samiri Zimri. Translated by Oscar Wren. So the one doesn't lose his mind along with the soul. One must compare, come prepared for all situations. The basic of any knowledge are always the most important. You need steady foundations in order to build the tower to the gods. To perform any rites on a ritual circle, the founding circle must be carved first. From top to bottom, the first one is the asymmetric circle. The asymmetric circle represents the older gods and their one-sided distribution of power. The second one is called the imperfect circle. The imperfect circle is the mark of the new gods who have strived for perfection since their conception ever to attain it truly. And the last one is called the perfection circle. The perfection circle represents the countless spiraling cycles culminating in the birth of the ascended ones. The ones who are able to go beyond human limits. One must never assign sigils not meant for their founding circles. That is a lesson to take from here. The beauty of these rites is that you cannot change them, but they can change you. Disrupt the new roll of paper towels and Queenie's water bowl. Gun ten dollars. I don't know what gun ten dollars means, but that that sucks. 
The altar of the new gods. To appease the one sitting at the grand hall, you must put forth a worthy offering. Okay, we need to look out for offerings then. There's someone here. Hey, are you okay? I can't take this. I can't take this shit no more. <laughs> house now. Found a white vial in the fridge. Okay, we found frozen commies. That is what I'm talking about, gamer. A lucky coin. Four shillings. Another lucky coin. Okay, so we're not we're not in any rush to uh, lose any, any coin flips. Where the fuck did this guy go then? I don't really want to sleep there because I know what's going to happen. I'm going to get chippy chopped by that asshole. Okay. Leave me the fuck alone, dude. Found some ammo. Found a tomato. Oh, fuck. Last file. Alright, we gotta fight him. Holy shit, his tackle hurts. Okay. Fuck that. Attack the center, that. Guy's a fucking football player, I guess. I might actually die here. Yep, I'm fucked. Oh! The Miss RNG is too strong. The Miss RNG is way too strong. It feels like you miss way more in this game than the first one. I'm gonna try X Soldier. The occultist seems really shitty right now because I can't get any skeletons or whatever the fuck. So I'm gonna I'm gonna try the other class and see how this goes. See the ex-soldier story? We probably should have, but I, I read that after I skipped it. Cause I'm 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 a good video game player. Okay. Look at him. He's got a fear of the sexy times. Dude, his skills are looking great. I'm really, I'm really digging it. I've got a knife and an army jumpsuit. Uh-oh. But I got a pistol. Is how you shoot. He's trying to remember. I'm gonna shoot a motherfucker now. Okay. It's gonna pop a cap in a son of a bitch. Three matches. A yellow vial. Cool. Can you just shoot random motherfuckers? No. You have to shoot enemies. I just come out holding the gun. <laughs> God damn, dude. They have they have no reaction to being held up by this motherfucker. Okay. I wonder if I could shoot the antelope in the woods. This is going to be interesting. I have something I want to try immediately. Because it looks like that little woodsman, for at least this part of the game, is going to be 
analogous to the crow from the first game. He's the one who, like, tries to fucking chop you when you sleep. So if we can kill him, we can probably just sleep whenever the fuck we want. Um, I'm assuming. I don't know if that's the case or not. We'll find out. Okay. Small key. I wonder if I could use that on the door. Probably not. I think it said it needed a specific key. Analog goes back to sleep. Yeah, but maybe we could wake him up by shooting him. I haven't been woken up in that particular fashion before, but I imagine it would be uh, pretty effective. I'm gonna hold a motherfucker up and uh, uh, glock him. This is just like Fear and Hunger 1, where at the beginning of the game, everything's kicking your ass until you find the right way to do it. Is there no save mechanic? There is, but you, you don't just get it for free. You have to earn your saves in Fear and Hunger. I'm gonna try following this dude and shooting his ass. Wait, can I shoot the fucking goat? Nope. Wasting all of my bullets <laughs> just to see if, if anything reacts to getting shot. Can I shoot the TV? Items you find in boxes random in this game? Yeah, it's like the first one. We've gotten heroin a couple of times. Okay. Zero for two on shooting things? Yeah. Bullets are being wasted for science? It's the demo, you know? We're, we're trying to figure shit out, figure out the mechanics so when the full game comes out we can crush it. Ammo's gonna be scavenged. You just find it in boxes and shit, but you gotta get the right type of ammo. Poor dog. I have no idea, Butters. I don't think he has a Patreon. I fucked up. The gun does good damage. I'm gonna try something. Thank you, Draconis Aquas, for the 120 bits. I appreciate it, dude. Thank you very much. Dude, that sucks! I'm, I lost. There's no question. Missing a revved up bullet. That's just, that's GG if I've ever seen it. Okay, how many bullets do I have? Two. Okay. Well. We'll see how this goes. Let's talk to this dude. Not even at the village yet. I know. But I'll have the knife for the villagers. It's like a sequel? Yes. What the hell are you? What nuisance? I wait for Venusha. Do not wake me again, worm. Okay, so yeah, it seems like he just doesn't... He, he doesn't want to have anything to do with me. Oh shit. We can keep going. What the fuck? 
it looks like he's having sex with something. His pants are down. Did we find a... I think we found a place we weren't supposed to. That's one of the characters from the original Fear and Hunger. I think we accidentally, uh... Like, either this is an Easter egg or we weren't meant to see this. Good shit. Shoot his ass? What do you- do you think he's fucking Casper the Friendly Ghost? And it's Casper's first time, so there's just a lot of blood everywhere? That's what it looks like to me. Shoot him again, just to be sure. Okay, good shit. We found something nifty. I'm out of ammo, so I continue unarmed. See, I bet you could just fucking sodomize that dude if you had more more bullets than what I currently have. And we're gonna try to get past him. Do I have any drugs that I can use? It doesn't look that way. Okay. Uh-oh. We got a pulser. Damn, he's tanky. This guy's not meant to be fucked with. We, at the minimum, need a bear trap for him. Maybe the gun, if we just shot him in the head, would work. That dude's definitely the big enemy at this point. No, let's do the character history, see what we can do. Soothing sound of the rail tracks, we're not used to this. Okay, we already got this part. That was the same. Preval is your hometown, even if it has a tainted past painted all around its narrow alleyways. The painful memories would start from that one night. Your parents were arguing in the downstairs. The argument would heat up like it, like always, and it would turn into a fight. Your mother charged inside your room in desperation. She locked the door and pushed it with all of her might. First, the odor of old vodka carried over to your room. Then you heard your father's heavy footsteps walk up the stairs. Father started bashing down the door. Stand up against your father. Your efforts didn't matter much before the drunken stupor of your father. It did raise your maximum bodily resistance, though. Your mother gone and your father drinking in the gutter, you were taken to the Preville Orphanage. The place treated children awfully, and all kinds of rumors circulated on why kids would disappear occasionally without a trace. You couldn't wait to get out of there as soon as possible. Unfortunately, your wishes were answered sooner than you could have guessed. When the Second Great War started, the Eastern Union recruited every able-bodied person, no matter the age, to fight for the motherland. Thank you, Potato, for the seven months. I appreciate it, dog. Thank you very much. You are only 13 at the time, but they still dragged you with them. What kind of weaponry did you specialize in? Let's do rifles. I only have four shots. I'm fucked. <laughs> you excelled at the battlefield, despite your age. However, you grew bitter as you saw younger and younger kids being recruited and killed as the war dragged on. By this time, you were already responsible of your own squad. Child soldiers. You were given a mission meant for expendables, one that would be a guaranteed suicide mission. You are already growing tired of the haphazard way of distributing troops and the general morale of the Eastern Union Army was starting to show its cracks. Take the mission and fulfill your duty. You survived the mission despite impossible odds. This increased your proficiency in your branch of weaponry. You learned marksmanship. Unfortunately, the mission had its toll on you as well. Your psyche couldn't handle the losses on the battlefield, so you had to take opioids to ease the pain. You formed an addiction. You got heroin and withdrawal symptoms. Yay! 
You couldn't stand up for this any longer and became a deserter. The Eastern Union? Oh, we're stocking up on ammo, dude. Fuck that. <laughs> we need more bullets. And thank you, Rylands, for the 16 months. I appreciate it, dog. Thank you, thank you. It's not a place anyone would want to return to, but when you got no other place in the world, you're left with no options. Skip the intro? Yes. All right. We're fucking high. Take the heroin and then fight that, that dude with the hatchet. The intro for this guy is different? I suppose it could be. I'm inclined to think it isn't, though, because all of the other characters outside of the train said they had the exact same dream. Yellow vial. Okay. This is really cool so far. Find a bag of wheat flour. About the sweatshop part? Yeah, maybe. I won't know until you try. Yeah, I'll try it next time. Just gotta remind me. Stop. I'm gonna find some harvestmen on this train. I hope so. Feels like you only ever find bullets if you're playing the occultist. We found bullets last time, but it was the wrong type of bullet. What the fuck are sub tokens? I have no idea. Sounds lame. What's going on, acid? Okay. Get through this shit, man. I wish they would make the skip all this dialogue part the first uh, option so I don't accidentally have to go through all of it. What if enemies can have guns? Uh, I would say it's a certainty that they can, considering the fact that enemies have already used bear traps on us. Uh, I, I think it's a, more of a question of when rather than if. Like, I don't, I mean, out of all the things I'm Fear and Hunger it manages to uh, continue to surprise me because the enemies literally use bear traps on you, of all things. And avoided yours? Yeah, they did that in the first one, too. A booby trap? What the fuck is a booby trap? Oh my fucking god, it's a landmine. <laughs> it looks like a landmine, dude. Christ. Okay. We gotta try that against the lumberjack. Hey, woodsman, come check this out. <laughs> If you know, what is the difference between a rifle and pistol? I have no fucking clue. I, I just started playing this. I have I have no idea yet. I'll try to figure it out. Trap next to the bed? I doubt it. Uh, I'm not going to try it. I'm going to try using it in a situation where I can just lure him, honestly. Maybe I'll try it if I, if I uh, do another run. Where, like, I kill him and then I decide to do something else. iPhone pistol use different ammo. Wait, hold on. Is this on Steam? No, right now it's just a demo. Um, advanced use of rifles, you're able to one-shot enemies with the rifle every now and then. Oh, God. Okay. I like how it literally just says one-shot in the description. Let's go on QBQ. It's pretty good so far. Thank you, Grok Shaftite, for the 19-month resub. I appreciate it, dude. So, does, if anyone has a link for the demo to post for Shoto, I would appreciate it. If not, I can get it. I'm just afraid I'm going to fuck my, my game up. Lucky coin. Oh, shit. We got more ammo. Thank you, Ellen. And a beer. Remember to equip the rifle. You're right. Thank you. We're gonna fuck this guy up. And this lumberjack's about to get his ass beat. If the dogs don't kill me. 
Made this account solely to make a dumb joke and it's already old. Well, thank you for the two months. Uh-oh, stinky poopy, haha. -ha. It's never gonna be old to me. As long as it's the version where it's uh, home invasion. Okay. I'm trying to... I know the dogs are around here, so I'm trying to... Uh, So I killed it outright. <laughs> oh shit, I have 125 body because of my selections in the character creation. So I'm poisoned. Game is shit. Yeah. The missing really, really hurts early on. But if I... We know now that if I play right, I can just kill them without actually engaging in that in a, in a real fight. Okay, let's see if I can... Uh, if I can get some healing items before we worry about that asshole. Although we still have the landmine. We do have something going for us still. I wonder, he'll probably survive the landmine. It'll probably just blow his legs off. Okay. I don't particularly want to deal with this guy. Does the heroin withdrawal do? I'm not sure. I'm gonna take heroin before fighting the guy though. to do this right. Nope, we fucked it up. Oh! You find a basement key from the pockets of the woodsman. You also take the axe. Thank you, Sushi Flick, for the resub. I appreciate it, dog. Thank you, thank you. Okay, so yeah, that worked very well. Guns might be a little bit overpowered. So now we're going to the house to see what's in the basement. Should have tried the landmine? I mean, we have it for other shit now. Thank you, Eccentrics, for the four-month resub. Thank you for the continued support. I wonder if there's a shit pit in this. There is. We found it already. <laughs> it's literally the exact same thing from the first game. It's, it's fantastic. There are four shit pits, actually. Yeah, we don't know if we can go into each one of them, though. We might not fit. Okay. We're, we're... I kind of want to sleep and see if it'll let me save. We're going to find out. Still save with the book. The book is RNG. You don't always get it, Papa. Alchemelia, that's good. Oh, shit. Welcome back to the tower. Fourteen of you still remain. How may I best aid you in your quest? The Hexen. Oh my god, look at this. This is the level up thing now. Okay. I don't know how to... How to use it. But this looks a lot more in-depth. So... Slurp, 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 Siffy. Slurp, slurp, slurp. I guess I need to get the little orbs before I can do anything with it. 
talk. There's still 14 souls left. I must say that my master is disappointed at the rate you're progressing. Festival. This is gonna be a long fucking game if we have to find and gun down 14 of these sons of bitches. <laughs> like, this is looking to be pretty lengthy. Especially considering this is just the demo. Is that the moon from Majora? Yeah, it is. It's very heavily inspired by Majora's Mask. The game's called Fear and Hunger Termina. And a save option I saved. That's the first thing I did. Light blue vial. Cool. Doesn't doesn't matter because I'm fucking poisoned. Bottle of vodka. White vial, okay, I know what that does. What is Termina? Majora's Mask? That's just the, the name of the land. Oh shit. Bear Trap and Bullets. Oh fuck, what's going on down here? That's... Not what I wanted. Uh, what's going on, Grimoku? Alright, so two shots. I'm just firing to announce Gromoku's presence. A seemingly dead old lady here. She seems to be holding tight on a piece of paper. Investigate. She's been dead for a while now, judging from the looks of it. Her head has been bashed with something and her wrists are cut open. You cannot tell which one led to her demise. Doesn't seem to have anything valuable. Check the paper. The note has been written with blood. Reunite with my lover on the other side. That's something to draw with. You could actually use it. Okay. Also, the book w is just for alchemical recipes. That was from the first one. And I know what Alchemelia Volume 3 does. Okay. Nothing left here. Doesn't seem to be too much going down or going on down here in the basement. Soldier seems much stronger early game. Yeah, I'm, because uh, a big portion of why you would want to use the occultist is so you can get the skeletons. Uh, until you get the ball rolling on that, there's not much advantage going on there. Best fuck of my life is written on the wall. Did he fuck the old lady? Oh my god. That's kind of gross. Probably uh, wrote it with her blood. Okay. And the shock value of the first. I heavily disagree with the idea that the first didn't have atmosphere and relied on shock value. Okay. Let's go over here and see what's in the bunker. Can you shoot the goat? Already tried. Already tried. Um, it's classic fear and hunger we know and love. Twice as focus on most fear and less on shock. I don't know. We've already seen two enemies with cocks. Um, I would say it's about even so far for the point of the game we're at, which is very, very early. We'll see. It's, it's, I think it's just too early to tell. Okay. So we're in this fucking weird military bunker now. Hmm. Normal cocks? <laughs> I don't know what what kind of cock you got going on if the lumberjack cock was normal. It had like all this weird like fucking vein shit growing on it. it. Wasn't as big, but it was pretty pretty nasty all the same. 
Like two feet of foreskin. Okay. Let's see. that I don't like that one bit direct continuation yes this is some interesting shit I wonder what's banging on the walls what is this? A lucky coin. Oh, baby. There seems to be a lot less loot in this game compared to the first one. That's one thing I've noticed. Most of these uh, containers I don't actually get anything from. Here we go. That's... Alright. So, tried to use the lucky coin, wasted all my ammo. That... Footnote, uh, unequip the gun when you're opening a chest. I don't, that, that shouldn't be, uh, that shouldn't work that way. <laughs> that shouldn't work that way. But, eh. Now we know. It's just a demo, yeah? It's just a demo. There's no reason to give, uh, in a fuss. It's kind of funny, but <laughs> also kind of disappointing at the same time. Mysterious letter under the other papers, you find coded letter number one. Oh boy. There's a, clearly a coded message here, unless it's a child's prank or something along those lines. Unfortunately, you do not have the means to decrypt at the moment. Okay. It's out of gasoline. Okay, maybe if I get gasoline, I can... can activate it again. So there's a specific key for this door. Can I examine this, perhaps? No. I'm waiting for something to jump out of me. I, I know it's gonna happen. I just I'm not sure when. Now I don't have my gun. Let's see. I need to be examining more. I'm not doing a good job at that. Cause the only the only thing I've really gotten of note here is the uh, coded letter, but there's got to be more. What's this? I can't mess with it. I thought it might have been a button or something. Okay, so my mind is going uh, going in the shitter. So let's drink some vodka. What's going on, Alpha Red Raptor? Thank you for the 11 month resub. Appreciate it, dude. Found an empty scroll yet? I have a feeling that there, if, if an item like that is in this game, it's not going to be called that. But no, we haven't found shit. What's good, Pyro Man? What's over here? Is there something here that I can use? Wait. Okay. Just making sure. No power on this pen. I don't really understand what it's used for anyways. Completely different story compared to the first one. Uh, it's a continuation. It seems to primarily star uh, the trickster moon god from the first game. He's, he's created a fucked up little festival called Termina where you and 14 other people are pretty much in a fight to be the last one standing, more or less, is the idea.
Or at least that's what they say the idea is at first. I'm sure there's more to it. That's the premise of the start. It's a battle royale. Yes, it's Fear and Hunger Battle Royale. Oh, fuck. We haven't been in this part yet. Oh, shit, I found a bullet. I have one shot. There's nothing interesting here. Okay, so there's bullets over here. Doesn't seem to be a whole hell of a lot more. Gasoline canister. Okay, cool. That means we can go to that machine again. Hot wabbits. Puzzle God solves another one? Yeah. You know it. Puzzle legend to Lomeo. Don't remember Trickster God in the first one. It was a very, very minor character. Uh, the only places where it really popped up were Pocket Cat, who served a Trickster Moon God. It was one of the little trivia questions when you were fighting the quiz boss thing. And the blue, not the blue, the green moon jellyfish thing also served the moon god, and you can give the little girl to it and re regrow your limbs. Okay, so we need more. Pocket cat is the kid slavery. Yeah, the the uh, the moon god is obsessed with kids for whatever reason. So expect uh, that kind of thematic approach to be uh, returning in this game at some point or another. That was a Venusha? I have no idea, actually. I don't remember that one. Wasn't there a cat or something? Yeah, Pocket Cat. Things I remember was the crazy granny and the product of your corpse fucking baby. Did it explain he eats kids to prevent new gods from ascending and damaging the world order? Gotcha. I think Venusha is new, though. Unless it's what they call Lagarde after he ascends. But I don't think both of those happen in ending A. Venusha to some lady who asked to bring the girl. No, that was a different one. I don't remember her name. She was a pretty minor character in the grand scheme of things. Nilvin, that's what that's the one. Nilvin. When is full release planned? Uh no specific date. Okay. Alright, so I gotta find more gasoline. I'm not sure if it's in there. Or if I've uh gotta find it elsewhere. But we have a we have a concrete objective right now, which is to find gasoline. Okay. But the thing is, the village is really dangerous. It's gonna be really easy for me to just get fucked there. Oh, he's chilling. I don't really want to fight things yet. Like, there's just simply too much shit to be fighting right now. Like, I don't, I don't have the resources to kill everything. And this is the shit pit. Okay, try the booby trap. 
I have a specific idea in mind for the booby trap. Just be patient, you will see. Bone saw's ready. Later, Rook Star, take it easy. Okay. We need more items. Come across this game? I came across the original one earlier this year by going through Game Jolt and just looking for shit to play. know what that did. Not the canister smash. This dude's got a real weak, uh... Maybe I should break the canister first and see how that goes. It seems like the... Uh-oh. Alright, if I miss, I lose. Landmine Worthless? It didn't seem to do much, did it? Maybe if you attack him during his little animation where he staggered, something happens. His tackle's really weak. Hold on, let's see what happens if I rev up three times. Oh, I messed up. It doesn't matter because I missed. Hold on. Since I have time to experiment, I'm gonna see what happens with the three the three rev up. Okay, it's a triple uh triple hit. Going for the head, not as viable as it was in the first game. So the thing about the head oh what the fuck? Speaking of had. Took the vile head as a trophy. And I found a small key. Is You can hit the head, but it's really, really low chance unless you have a throwing knife in the previous game, which had a 100% accuracy rating. Actually, like, attacking the head with your melee weapon as, like, a first resort was a bad idea, almost always. Hold on. I have Alchemelia. Do I have... No, I don't have the ability to craft shit yet. What does it do? Couldn't get the mask off? As if it's melted to the skin. I have an idea of what to use that for. Remember there was a little circle in one of the houses that said you need like an offering to the new gods or something. Maybe that's what that head is, is used for. What the fuck? Bandage man. Hey y'all! Welcome in my shop! Man appears to be holding something that resembles a baby but looks like a doll on a closer look. Other than that, he doesn't seem that off-putting. What you, you gonna be? Okay, so we can buy shit here. Don't have enough money for a healing vial, though. Okay. Neat. Hello, Bombie. I have to evade these, these fucking assholes. There's so many of them. Read alchemy book for healing stuff? No, I don't think you understand. Like, I- it's the same as the first one. See, I can- I can craft these. You don't need to read the book. The recipes automatically go in your inventory. You don't start with the ability to craft those vials. What's going on, Bobby? Is this there different alchemelias so you can only- you can only, uh... You can only make re regular base potions with herbs if you get the first one, but I got the third one. Which is combining pre-existing potions to make a better potion. So, for example, uh, uh oh.
Dude, are you fucking with me? Oh my god, there are a lot of these assholes here. Alright, well, time to die, I guess. Accuracy is terrible in this one, and they hit so hard. Oh my god. Okay. I didn't even get it. I need two hits. So basically, like, unless you have a gun, you can't really- you can't really fight shit. Oh god, what is this? Just in case, I, I, I had my finger on the, uh, the window, but nothing happened. They just ate me. What's going on, Femi? Okay. What did you think was going to happen? In the original Fear and Hunger, sometimes when you got killed by an enemy, you would get violated. So, I figured, you know, nothing's outside the realm of possibility. And Crash is so far won. Violated? Yeah. That's a, that's a light way of putting it. Fam let that happen on stream. That's not surprising. Okay. Um, I had the violation last game? Yeah, I never showed it on stream. I also didn't have one of the violations happen because I wasn't bad enough to die to that particular enemy. So I didn't have to worry about it. Okay. I think they all count as the same hole. No, not for the enemy to appear, but to be killed by said enemy. You specifically, I think, have to be killed by his pulsating stinger attack for it to happen. If he chops you in half, it doesn't... It doesn't, uh, play. You shoot the people at the train, tried it, didn't work. Mmm. That's some good fucking Diet Coke. Can you chop the planks on that building's door with the axe? Maybe. It could be a hidden boss in the shit pit, you never know. I gotta... I don't have the axe anymore, because I haven't killed the, uh, the lumberjack on this. Um... I really should go back and kill him is, like, the first thing I do. Yes, you did? How else you... Maybe. I guess you're right. You're right. Never mind. I'm high. I... What I didn't do is go to the bunker. So we're not fighting. Fighting seems retarded in this. <laughs> like, it seems so counterproductive to actually fight shit in this game. Oh, the two-story house. Okay, I don't think I've been in here. Thank you, Dank Dreams Don't Die, for the 21 months. I appreciate it, dude. Thank you very much. 
Hello, is Shibuya. It's a, the demo. Black Matter. Okay. Somebody tell this guy to stop tagging me. You, you like the attention, that's why you're mentioning it. Don't you lie to me. Should Fear and Hunger playthroughs were on YouTube? They are. I wonder if the generator turns on the electricity in this town village? Maybe. good jackhammer I can't go down here for some reason like it won't let me there's an invisible wall oh I think I know where I am now newspaper article I haven't seen this before let's see what it is it is a week old newspaper article about the supposed end of the Great War II. Two of the biggest powers in the Western world, the Eastern Union and the Bremen, settled for peace after last aggressive push by the Bremen troops happening as days prior to the treaty. The Bremen troops seized the power in a small city of Preheval, located in central Bohemia, northeast from Vla Vltava River. Last push was considered especially aggressive and is widely considered to have advanced the peace agreements on a larger scale. Another major factor behind the peace was the joint assaults against the Eastern Union on both the Western and Eastern fronts. From the West, the remnants of the Kingdom of Ron didn't kept attacking the Eastern Union, and from the East, the Kingdom of Edo continued their campaign after their prior defeats. The article goes on and on about the small details, but it seems to be the gist of the article. Okay. My World War Two. Okay. Politics in Mavidja. Yeah, what the fuck is this? I can't go this way. I guess this pipe is blocking it somehow. Time skip? Yeah, this one's like several hundred years in the future, I believe. Okay, I don't want to talk to you. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. T-Dog die. Wait. Okay, hold on. I'm still poisoned. I didn't realize. I have a Wi-Fi, alright? I do. Let's take care of hunger. Let's eat the meat pie. And I need to equip Apex. They have classes in this? They do, but they're only two right now. Give me that meat pie, big boy. Uh-oh, I got an egg. I don't think I can lose now. Okay, so who the fuck is this? Wheeze, wheeze, cough, trying to get you behind to the old town of Preheval, are we? Wheeze, the nast men o Kaiser blocked the place off, is off limits. Who's got the gate keys? The old mayor of the town got one. Meddle with them army boys. Heard the mayor kicked the bucket, a new one got there just now. Not that we got the elections. The other key is with the other men of Kaiser. They got some business at the forest. Shady business. Okay. What's going on here? Same as always, nothing's changed. Once a shit hoe, always a shit hoe. Very poignant. Bremen army cut the town off? Aye, they most certainly did, and here I thought the war was ready, coming to an end. What is this, Fear and Hunger 2? Yes, sir. What's going on, Laser Sith? It's Fear and Hunger Termina, to be more specific. The sign says closed. We gotta watch out for that guy, but I think... Oh, all right. We've gotta kill this dude. Let's 
strong contraption that will cause severe damage. That just didn't seem to be the case. Alright. I want this dude dead. I want to try something. Okay, you can still spray me. Alright, so it looks like I'm fucked again. Let's see. I took like a dot. Yeah, it poisons you. So you definitely want to kill the sprayer first. I thought maybe if he didn't have the canister, he wouldn't be able to spray you. That logically kind of makes sense, but that's not... Sadly, that's not how things turned out. Oh, wait, Pocket Cat really is Hank, huh? How are you enjoying RuneScape, dude? No bone cell this time, we'll find one. That's like one of the most common items in fear and- oh fuck. Alright, well that's uh... Okay. One's curl mauler. Oh, I found an arm and a leg. Cool. Can I still eat it? Yes, I can. All right, so if you dismember them, I guess you get their arms and legs now? That's new. Thank you, Femi, for putting Hank in the cock shed. I appreciate it, dog. Thank you very much. Oh my god. This, this lady's coming from my dickens. Oh, fuck! Holy shit! It's fucking Kylie Jenner. What, what's a brother gotta do here? Dual wielding Kylie Jenner. Thank you, XOF Project, for 17 months. This is a new game. Yes, it is, dude. I got fucked. I got my ass beat. This is... This feels a lot harder than the first one. When you run out of ammo. It's... You can fucking destroy things if you've got the ammo. But once you don't have bullets... <laughs> it's just, uh... It's an uphill battle constantly. When is the release? No announced release date yet. Which is good. It should be this way. Because... And, and there are no throwing knives to one-shot all the enemies this time, it seems. Maybe there are, but... Do I, why have throwing knives when you've got guns, right? First one had more abusable shit. I'm sure this one does, too. The guns are really strong, provided you don't waste ammo like I do. Like, you just shoot the lumberjack guy twice and he's dead. You don't have to fight him at all. Like, imagine if you could do that with the crow mauler. Okay, let's go save again, because we just got two more bullets. I'm hitting the motherfucking save button on that one. <laughs> I, uh, I want to keep that. Okay, search the basement again. I don't really need to. Girl character not have guns. She doesn't start with one, no. There may be uh, dialogue choices that let her start with a gun. I don't think so. She starts with necromancy usually. Still a chance to get fucked by RNG. Uh, once you kill the lumberjack, you can save whenever you want. It takes it takes two bullets to kill the lumberjack. It seems like next to impossible to kill him without doing that. I hit his arm twice and it didn't break. And he hits for half of your health each turn, so. He's definitely not as bad as the Crow Mauler is. He doesn't have, like, the ability to just peck your fucking head off. Worse than Crow Mauler? 
if you w couldn't shoot him, then he would be. But the fact that you can just sit there and shoot him twice with the rifle and kill him, uh, pretty much trivializes the amount of grief you're gonna get from him. But I have a feeling that there's gonna be more as you progress through the game. Like, it's probably not gonna stop at the Lumberjack. There's, there's almost assuredly going to be something else. This dick attack is fucking horrifying. Save. I'm going to do the bunker first. There are no enemies in the bunker. I've just been reluctant to save up until this point because of game, the game can crash. And it seems like if your game crashes and you load it back up, it doesn't keep your saves. This is a big demo? Yeah, yeah. It's been uh, over two hours now, I think. We have a concrete objective. wonder how much more there is. Demo's out for free right now. Yep, yep. If you honestly lucked out having to not encounter it? Well, he kills me before he can even use it. When I Like, I fought him twice. The dream dude got pissy last time you saved, too. Maybe he's gonna get mad at me. You know Femme was non-massacre for Halloween? I didn't. Did she beat it? Okay, so... Note. It seems like uh, both times I've, I've gotten the bullets from here, they've been 9mm bullets. So if you start with the pistol, it seems like that's a guaranteed 3 bullets. Uh, so something something to write down. No, she was the nun? Oh, oh, okay. Epic. Epic. That's what I'm talking about. I'm gonna get Whataburger tonight when I'm done with this. Fear and Hunger 2 and Whataburger? That's a good fucking night to me, right? Oh shit! I'm stupid. There was another gas thing canister here, I just missed it. You're scaring me. Found a lighter. What the fuck do I use the lighter for? Is it just an infinite match? Okay. All oh, right. I need uh. I need to cure my poison, but I don't have a poison cure. Is trying to tell a knock knock joke? I don't want to hear his knock-knock joke. That means something's going to fuck with me if I turn this generator on. There's no power on this panel. Seems like the backup generator powers up something else. I'm guessing it's the elevator. shit Doomsday trumpet ah. 
I think that was my only chance to just do RNG. <laughs> yeah, he's got pack. He fucking he honks his little elephant horn at you, and your head explodes. <laughs> That's hilarious. Okay. Cool. All right, so we're immediately going to try to fuck him up with my one bullet. I should have saved when I got the other bullet. I knew I should have. Aye, aye, aye. I can maybe get the bear trap and the little explodey thing and try to fuck him up as much as I can if I get good drops. Toots your head? Yeah, yeah, you don't have time to be fucking with anything besides either his head or his chest. Uh, that was that was a pretty formidable encounter, it looked like. So, that, like I'm saying, it was only a matter of time before something similar to the crow popped up. I still have the landmine? I do. I do. Challenging gameplay? Yeah, I've been getting my ass beat so far. It seems way harder than the first one. I got a syringe of hair when I can shoot up before I fight him next time. Okay. Like, I was expecting an enemy, but I wasn't... For, for some dumb fuck reason, I wasn't really expecting something quite that powerful. Oh, that's on me. A bear trap, okay. And two shillings. Got some shillings now. But I still only have a gun with one bullet. So Mortis is in my future. Do dude, dude boys not to be messed with? I'm glad the enemies are still just as fucked up design wise. Total beating the demo? No. Does the shop have bullets? Not uh, the right kind. I wonder what this. Maybe I could bring the trophy to the goat. Like, I doubt that goat is just a non-sequitur. There's got to be something going on with them. What is it so far? It's pretty goddamn good. I, I think it's safe to say at this point my, my, uh, my worries about it not living up to the first one are rapidly starting to diminish. Uh, I have very few complaints. My Literally, my only complaint I can think of off the top of my head is the bug, where it... You have to hold shift to use the lucky coin on a chest, which basically lets you roll twice so you don't fuck up the roll. But uh, if you have the gun out, shoot is shift. So it just it makes you shoot and you uh, you waste fucking ammo, which is uh, pretty scarce in this game so far. So that, that sucks, but I'm sure that'll be fixed. It's, uh, it's a demo after all. I feel like that one always gives the 303 bullet. Okay. Let's let's try to beat uh Mr. Elephant Man again. We're going to use the booby trap in the mine. Cuz the booby trap should give us enough time to shoot him twice. Canister? Oh, did I forget the canister? I'm a, I'm a dumb dumb. Sorry. I'm a, I'm a little I'm a little baby brain. Uh, I've got fetus folds. Heroin too? Yeah, I gotta I gotta shoot up and make sure I'm ready so that uh we can beat the shit out of this dumb fuck elephant. The thing that's really kind of sitting with me right now is. I don't know if it's necessarily going to be you killing all 14 of them, but over the course of the game, 14 people have to die. Presumably for the main goal of the game to be achieved, and so far not a single one has died. So it's looking like this is going to be a lengthy endeavor, which is really good. I 
offense for level 14. He might be. Alright, I'm gonna have to be quick with my fingers on this one. <clears throat> oh, a pistol! Fuck, that's a- that's- that's amazing! Are you serious? I should go- I'm saving, dude. Fuck this. I'm gonna go save. <laughs> I don't... I'm- I'm- I'm not gonna risk this shit, dude. Fuck that. Pigmas dude is one of them? He might be. How does your character still have all the limbs? Well, we've had our, our legs chopped off and we've been fed the pigs uh, already, so... Well, uh, it's only a matter of time. What's going on personally, Amy? Goji. I want to fuck this elephant. God damn. I have a feeling the end result of this is going to be me going and playing fucking Fear and Hunger 1 again. Because I'm, I'm hooked once more. Yeah, two heads last time got a lighter, but I don't think the I don't think that affects how good the item is, just whether or not you win. I feel like people would complain really hard if it affected how good the item was. Talk to 14 with the other kids on the train? Yes, but they could be corrupted or, or changed. I'm sure that's gonna happen. I doubt we're gonna fight just 14 random regular bozos, you know? Like, there's going to be a twist to it. Because notice we keep fighting people who have animal heads. Like, that one fucking dude with the little gas canister who's got the, uh... The little pig-looking head, and now the elephant head. wonder why the Merc Sprite was still in the forest. Oh man, I need I need to show people that just in case they missed it. I think we've discovered something that wasn't meant to be found, or was just an Easter egg slash placeholder. Got a fucking nightmare for me playing Fear and Hunger One. Just has a thing for ghosts. <laughs> Pretty good. Did Tola win? No. But we're much better equipped this time around for fighting that weird elephant thing. One thing I will say that could potentially be shitty is I hope that the optimal strategy for everything isn't just shooting it with a gun outside of combat. That would kind of be a bummer if it ended up being that way. And then the elephant has a gun. Because <laughs> so far it's been just objectively the best solution to everything uh, that I've encountered at this point. You need the ammo? True. But the thing is, if you, if you have ammo available as like an RNG resource, then you run the risk of just having a run where you're just like it's very very hard if not impossible to win if you don't get x amount of bullets you know i'm glad there's still fantastical shit in the game too when it's not just like i, I guess one of the things i was worried about is that it was going to be typical like oh my god horror zombies because it's in a more modern setting, but that's not that's not the case at all. Not even a little bit. Okay, so check this out. Over here off the beaten path. <laughs> There's the character from Fear and Hunger 1. Fucking what I presume to be uh 
Casper the Friendly Ghost uh, took his virginity, as you can see, by all of the blood everywhere. There's also this, which, uh... Is, it seems like you're not supposed to be here. Because I've been trying to look for, like, random paths through the forest, and it, I just stumbled upon one here. Because it doesn't really look like you can go there, but you can. So I'm sure there's more than one area like that. Okay. Submitted my second last assignment for Unity Day. Dope, dude. Good shit. No Nut November. Merc on that No Nut November. Didn't play the first one, but I'm going to try this demo. It's pretty goddamn good so far. It... it Amazes me how there are so many good games for RPG Maker. A couple years ago, I would have laughed at the notion of playing anything made with RPG Maker. But then I played Lisa, played Fear and Hunger 1. Uh, now this shit. I'm sure there's stuff I'm forgetting, like Jimmy and the Pulsating Mass. Is this modern times? Yes, it is. It's like several hundred years in the future. Then we have... Uh, how could I forget Pokemon Island? Exactly, said Doc. How, how could I forget it? No delivery? Yeah, no delivery. The list goes on. There's just so many. Okay, I need to make sure to get the coded letter. Hylix was cool, too. True. Actually finish those games? Yes. Okay, once you see static, drop the traps. The booby trap didn't do anything. But I have this. Dog die. That's a hard fight to win. What the fuck's a brother gotta do to beat that asshole? I have to get multiple shots on him. So far, yeah, that was that was going well for me, but it didn't matter. I guess just uh, maybe I have to guard on the second turn. Crow Mauler equals Elephant Mauler, and he's in that narrow ass hallway, so there's not gonna be any getting by him. You gotta fucking kill him. It looks like. Okay. Because it still seems like it's... I, I think I did enough damage to kill him, but I think it's still got the mechanic where if you kill most enemies, they get, like, a vengeance turn. Like, they don't die until the end of their turn. So, like, uh, you gotta kill it either in one turn or survive the second turn. Because that was a thing in Fear and Hunger 1. So I'm, I'm almost positive I did enough damage to kill his head. But... Just, I gotta survive that second turn somehow. There's gotta be a trick to it. Like, I need to buff up. I, I, I neglected to do that last time. Gotta shoot up heroin. Gotta make sure all my stats are up high. The booby trap didn't seem to do anything. So I'm just gonna stick with the bear trap. So, so far, it's kind of, kind of looking like, uh, what's, what's almost assuredly gonna happen is me killing him with bullets outside of combat. That's true. I could use the booby trap first. Alright. 
Or maybe both did hit him and I, it just didn't stack up on the stun slash fall. Okay. Oh, holy shit. There's an animation for shooting up. Of course there is. That's the least surprising thing I've ever seen now that I think about it. Okay. I'm gonna equip a weapon. Let's do the rifle. Oh, yep, he's just fucking dead. Find a soul stone. See, that's what I mean. Like, I hate that that seems like the way most of the fights are going to go. Like, that's one thing. If if the dev is out there listening to this somehow, some way, uh, I, I really hope that, like, the combat doesn't devolve into this. Cause that like the combat's so good, but it just seems like this is the the right way to approach everything. Let's use the soul stone. It seems that the creature is still very much alive. Well, that's not good. Breathing still despite your efforts. That's not good. And yeah, lucky with RNG. It's your power, Marksman. I don't like that power. <laughs> I don't like that power much at all. We'll see. Maybe it's not what I'm thinking. Maybe it's just because I'm not experienced with the game. But so far, it seems like that's just the best way to take care of everything. The path is too tight for you. The creature seems to have pushed through some structure beams to get here. Okay. A no-gun challenge seems like it could be pretty fun. Very difficult, though. Go to the elevator? I guess I could. Might get back up, honestly. What's going on, Broken Fang? It's pretty goddamn good so far. Oh, yeah, I'm just a dummy. Lighting reminds me of Terraria. Okay. So I doubt that's the last development. Uh oh. Yeah, I don't like that much. gonna chase me, I know it. What's this? Find Soldier's Letter and the Eagle Brass Key. That's probably the first thing you can resurrect with the uh, Necromancy. Okay, Soldier's Letter. Dear Gisela, I write this letter in great sadness. I'm afraid I will have to postpone my return to your loving bosom. Even if the Great War is supposedly over, our task seemed to be anything but. After running around following orders that would sicken every sane person who had not witnessed the horrors of war, I think I finally started to see the red line our Kaiser has been following all along. This rotten city, it was the very thing our Kaiser strived to conquer since day one. I do not think it a coincidence that very soon after reaching this city, Kaiser decided to withdraw Bremen forces elsewhere and agree on the terms of peace. I don't know what's so special about this miserable place, but I even heard that the Kaiser himself will be coming here in the upcoming days. Maybe after that I can finally return home. I hope you're able to wait for me just a little while longer. Yours forever, Johnny. You're right, Pockin. Okay. 
combat manual. Okay. Manual depicts basic survival in a close combat situation. Fine teachings can be applied on both a battlefield and your everyday life. Take out different limbs of the enemy to best subdue their attacks. If the enemy is carrying a weapon, it might be best to deal with that first. Going straight for the head might seem tempting, but attacking such a small body part and the heat of the battle might prove out to be difficult. Taking out legs might rock the balance of the enemy and make them vulnerable for headshots. Combat tutorial. As the fight goes on, you'll get more revved up naturally, as you can see from your Illuminati points increasing every turn. Use one point to boost your strength, or two or three to add additional attacks to your string. There are also different skills that might require rev points to be used. This is mentioned in the skill description. See, that's what I mean. The combat looks really sick in this game. Like, the actual combat system with the Illuminati point seems like a lot more in-depth than the first game. So I hope it gets fleshed out to the point where you're doing actual combat more than shooting the gun. Sometimes the enemy might be preparing for a devastating attack. These attacks cause massive damage or other status ailments to prove out to be insufferable. Most of the time, these attacks are telegraphed in some way on the previous turn. You can dodge, either dodge them by guarding or you can face the coin of judgment. <laughs> That's what it's called. Okay. Oh, what the fuck? Okay. Bottle of vodka. This... Is this the workshop with the fucking dude? What the fuck is this? I'm unarmed. Arantia wobbles towards you, its mouths are dripping saliva. The Triple Vagina Special! Me, let me shoot up real quick. <laughs> What's going on, Tenshi Wing? Oh, yeah, I hit really hard with the heroin. Injection made ex soldier numb from all the pain and horror. Search, creature has nothing of value. Beat her. It's as if life has escaped the. I, mean, I didn't read the first part of that. Okay. Also, this is an extremely unsettling thing. Whatever the fuck this is. Guns didn't do shit to it. Yeah, the guns didn't really seem to accomplish anything against this particular enemy. Maybe the mouths ate the bullet. Oh, fuck, another one. Yeah, I don't see a way out of this one. Still on heroin. I have an I have a plan. Nope. Didn't do enough damage. Did you shoot out of the ground? Yep. Because I noticed when I was using the the uh the thing last time and I hit its torso, it immediately ended the turn. So it seemed like one of those enemies where if you break its torso it actually just dies. Oh man, 
man, this is a long fucking demo. I'm so surprised. I'm still on heroin. I have a plan. <laughs> That's a quote up I've ever heard one. You should save after you kill the elephant. True. I kind of want to explore more of the town now that I have a bullet with a fuck ton of, or a gun with a fuck ton of bullets. Okay, it's not a fuck ton of bullets, but I can buy more bullets at this store. Because I need something that's going to cure my poison. That shit is fucking me up. I've been poisoned forever. A bullet with a fuck ton of guns? A bullet with a fuck ton of guns. Is there actually a time limit for when you have to kill the other 13 participants? I have no idea. Okay. This is the shit pit. Alright, we don't have to fight this one. Because we can line of sight it. I'd be able to kill the elephant with a bone saw after it's down. That would be neat. Is that actually the shit pit? Yep. You know it. Oh, man. Oh. I wonder if it's only because I shot him. What the fuck was that? That sounded like the fucking... It reminds me of the Harvest Men. Okay. Try strats. Later, Philly. Take it easy. He also has hooves. Oh, what's going on here? It's got a lot of the technical problems that the first one had, like these random FPS drops. What is that fucking noise that pisses me off? Okay. So, I think I found the strat for the villagers. <laughs> Once you do enough damage to hit their torso, you end their turn. But I, right now I need to be on heroin for it, I think. I can't one-shot them normally. Okay. Heroin addict slaughter slaughters the whole town. True. What's going on, jerk ops? I'm just gonna keep winging it until I can, until they, I miss and I fucking die. Oh, there we go. So it looks like you need about 300. Oh, here we go again.
Nothing I could do. There's so much, dude. Like, I have no idea what I should be doing right now. At least they just eat you. Yeah, the first time I was expecting, uh... Something else. Static appear on enemy encounters? Yes. Just got porked. I did. I'm gonna die of poison anyways. I know. I need to get a white vial. You can cure it. How many hours did the first game take you? Quite a bit. It was a lot like this. Like, once you're learning... Like, when you're learning the game and first starting, it takes forever to make any progress. But the second half of the game, like, it just... Like, once you have a grasp on the mechanics and whatnot, and you have a foothold, have items, etc., it goes by a lot faster. I have a feeling this one's going to be harder overall, though. Okay, Kylie. Nope, not enough damage. I'm bleeding. I need to stop fighting them. I'm fighting them is the the dumb brain strat. Hold on. I want to try something. It's probably not going to work, but I want to try it. Ah, uh, yes, sad. Nope. Thank you, Casper, for 13 months. Appreciate it, dude. Thank you, thank you. Only got time to check in. Gotta get going soon. Gotcha. Okay, let's go back to the bunker. We were having a lot more luck with the bunker. With the fucked up elephant creature than the, the normal villagers. Although, that being said... I don't know. This is this is gonna be rough. What if it's the gas canister leaking? Maybe sh try shooting that? You know, that's actually really smart. Look, I'm gonna try that right now. I'm gonna try that right fucking now. Because there's probably something to that. Demo already out? It's a big demo, too. It's not like, uh... I've been playing for three hours. <laughs> so, granted, a lot of that is because I'm really, I'm really, uh, struggling picking it up. It's pretty hard. But it's not... It's not a short demo by any stretch of the imagination. Okay. So let's try this. Oh, well. Nope, it didn't blow up. That was really smart, but that's, that's not... I don't think the dev thought that far ahead on that one. That would have been really cool, though. Using some pesticide, thank you, villager. <laughs> this shit's pretty brutal so far. The fact that he can spray without the can is dumb, I agree. I agree wholeheartedly. Is this out or is it a demo? It's just a demo. It's already looking like it's gonna be longer than that Star Wars game, though. Yeah, <laughs> yeah! I wish that guy would use that pesticide to kill some of the demo's bugs. Maybe it's like leftover spray in the nozzle. I'll have more enemies. So far the enemy designs have been really good. There's already been a lot of really perturbing encounters like these fucking whole dogs. The flesh tunnel pups. The dev ever watched the old streams? Uh, so he said on Twitter that he watched some of them. I doubt he watched like all 60 hours of those streams. That'd be crazy for anybody. Okay. 
Excuse me. I'm really excited for the full release of this now, though. Holy shit. I'm always apprehensive. I'm always apprehensive about games I like getting a new new installment, but uh, so far this is living up to it. Just curious if that strat I used for the, the elephant man was consistent. Later, bad men. Take it easy. Okay, so we need to equip. I believe I was using the rifle. The booby trap and one rifle shot seemed to kill him. Grab the coded letter. I will if I survive this encounter. Nope, not consistent. I wonder. I have an idea. Don't mind me, elephant. Let me shoot up. <laughs> He's polite. He'll wait. If he kills me on turn two, then I won't let him get to turn two. That's the idea here. Escape has always had a pretty high rate of success in this game, so... See, the only damage I'm taking right now is from poison. Is it? Oh, fuck. Let me drink that vodka for mind. Was an escape a strap for guards? It was. Damn, dude, this guy's fucking tanky. That's over a thousand damage to the chest. Was the marksmanship skill? Yeah, yeah, it was. That damage does get saved when you run. It might not. It's looking like that might not be the case, but, uh... It's worth a shot. Why not the head? Uh, because the head has... Here, I'll show you why not the head. I can, I can demonstrate. Oh shit, it actually hit. It has a really low chance to actually hit the head unless you've broken the legs first in these games. Now I look like an asshole. Good demonstration. Oh shit, maybe not. I'm actually hitting him. So see, I am in zero mind and he didn't pop me. It pops you on the second turn. So you gotta kill him on turn two. No, you have to kill him on turn one because he'll get the uh He'll get the revenge turn, even if you kill him on, on turn two. So I'm not sure how you're supposed to approach this. Maybe you're really just not supposed to fight him and you're supposed to, uh... 
go around them. Maybe guard the second turn, maybe. Why not get a revenge trumpet if you can kill the head? I had a... Uh, one of the first encounters with him, I did over a thousand damage to the head total by turn two, and that he, he didn't die. Like I did I did 500 and then I think 600 with the gun uh, on heroin so big attacks are best guarded I'd be surprised if that counts though because you're guarding a noise I can try it I just don't know if it's gonna work because there's got to be a way to do this guy consistently. Just gotta figure out what it is. It says he isn't dead if you drop him. Maybe you're not really supposed to beat him. Yeah, I'm starting to think you're supposed to inhibit him with like a bear trap. And then, uh, like, just do this or something. Just run around him, break his ankles. That actually seems like the right idea. Like, if you have a bear trap, you can just crunch his fucking legs, and then you won't even have to fight him. I'm gonna try that. He's still pretty fast, even with the, uh... Even with the thing. Okay. Oh. Well. You gotta lure him. Okay, well maybe not, fuck. If you have the bear trap, you can shoot his head, though. I mean, that fucking works still. It's a, one extra step, but... Trunk was vulnerable, yeah, because you had the bear trap on him. Can you go through the hole? No, it won't let you. It says it's too tight. So that's a problem. Uh, he's not hes not a, a corpse if you don't kill him. Like, he doesn't fall down as a corpse anymore, so... Okay, we need to get this shit. Wait. When the fuck did I get necromancy? When the hell did this happen? Um, we're gonna name this one... Hanky... A-chan. You find Soldier's Letter and Eagle Brass Key? So, they, if you res them with the items and they drop them... When the fuck did I get Necromancy? When the hell did this happen? I already read the Occult Grimoires. Okay, I got an egg. I don't know what the fuck's going on. Okay, so we gotta fight the vagina monsters. I'm wondering if I should use the booby trap on it. B 
because the gun seemed totally ineffectual when I used it last time. Oh, that one doesn't aggro. Okay. That was fucked up. Hey, lady! What the fuck is going on here? Okay. Yeah, you get that leg, Hanky Chan. That went well. So... What the fuck is this? I'm genuinely confused. Is this just the end? <laughs> like, they just haven't gotten this far? What? Alright, um... This is unsettling. But really cool. It's got a, a trigger for going in there. I guess maybe it doesn't let you do it when you're in combat. Okay, white vial, thank god. It's about time. Get rid of that nasty poison. And a booby trap for the one we wasted. Yeah, this is where we were making the shit in that one one place. It looks very similar, at least. And the little tutorial area. Alright, we're just gonna fight it, no booby traps. Alright, Hanky-chan. Time together is looking like it's about to about to go away. I'm gonna risk it for the biscuit and go for the head. Nope. Okay. What else is on this floor? this thing hiding? Nothing. Okay. That ghoul put in some work? Yeah, yeah. The only reason I'm doing okay right now is because it's always attacking Hanky-chan instead of me. He's just got a natural taunt to him, I suppose. Alright, we're gonna try it again. That's, that's, I think, I think that's, that's gonna be it. Please hit Hank. Thank you. like that mouth too. Am 
might be fucked here. Thankfully it didn't chop any of my shit off, if nothing else. Here lies Hanky-chan. Saddest story I've ever heard. <laughs> Saddest story I've ever heard. Can I? A rust-colored pearl, okay. I should have examined those sooner. And yes, I noticed there was a ladder on the left side. I want to completely explore the floor before I go up or down. What's a rust pearl? Huh. So I should probably go back and get the others. But then I skipped one. There was one at the beginning part that I just didn't kill. Um, so I hope three's enough. Okay. I can't get this one. Weird. I wonder why. I wonder why. I like it because there's still so much I don't know. Obviously. I haven't even finished it yet, but it's like... There's just a fuck ton of shit going on already. I hope you don't mind the Sif slurps. Thank you, Fapple Cake, for 26 months. I appreciate it. Why are rats dying under your bed? Oh, what the fuck is this? Okay. An officer sword? That sounds fucking dull. Is it fucking dull? One damage! Dude, that's amazing. That's amazing. So what is this? It doesn't have any seeming use. You have no idea about its purpose. Well, it looks like a dragon dildo to me. What's going on, Captain Mangashia? I don't think you should get defeated in here. Oh, fuck. Yeah, that's right, dude. You probably get fucked by that thing if you die here. Oh, fuck that. Remen Lieutenant. Oh, you made it out alive. Good boy. Who are you? Lieutenant Pav at your service. Remember that name well. What about you? I recognize you from the train. It's only polite to introduce yourself. Ex-soldier. Be on your best behavior, ex-soldier, yes? Dask, I recognize the uniform. You're a soldier. Those are not Bremen overalls, is for sure. Don't worry, the war is over. You don't have to keep up with the hostilities. That's not what's bothering me. What bothers me... The hell of a lot are those shoes. What the, what happened to your boots, soldier? Soldier does not just switch to sneakers when the Iron Curtain falls. Unbelievable. No boots. Well, whatever. Take you found the key to, for the city gates? Oh, yes. That's the one. The one with the eagle. Good, good. What I've gotten it myself, you never know what lurks in the depths of this soil. Besides, the festival's only at its beginning. I don't want to do anything too risque just yet. Now, be a good... good Kid X soldier and get those gates open. I got some other business to attend to. So be killing you later. I mean seeing you later. Oh, that's no good. What an asshole. I like my fucking Nikes. Let's go on Shumani. Okay. Let's go save. Is the Termina Festival some kind of fucked up Hunger Games? Pretty much exactly that.
Jealous of your sketch Z straps with light ups. So now we have the city to attend to. Which is still gonna I have almost all of my ammo. I use no bullets whatsoever in that part. Can you save state an RPG maker? I have no idea. If you can, I don't know how to do it. What's going on, Suyoku? I wonder what that goat is up to. He's plotting something. I know that for sure. I know that goat is up to no good. It's Satan in disguise. I still need to get the coded message from the bunker. I forgot to do that. Goat Garoth. Wait, what? That's not my character. Welcome back to the tower for- What the fuck? Maybe that's why I had necromancy. Like, I- See, I don't have necromancy anymore. The game fucking bugged, and I reloaded as the necromancer. For some reason. So I got through that section completely illegitimately. <laughs> I I didn't... Oh, man. Weird. So I'm a hacker man's. What if it's intended? I don't think it was. Hmm. You get to do it legit when the full game comes out exactly. Wait, what? Does this say anything? I let his cold member inside me. Even my loins couldn't warm it up. Yes, I did it. I laid with black kalov. I tasted his seed. Something here written with blood. He's more of a man than you could have ever been. Twice the size, in fact. Holy shit. That's, uh... Soldier you as that old lady's lover? Yeah, I think so. That makes sense. Thought you were done reading fan fiction? Did that ritual just to get that dick? Is this a personal attack? I think so. Hold on. Are there any more secret paths through the trees? So I could frolic and find more of the old Fear and Hunger characters? Should you check up on the people at the train? I guess I could. Um, damn, I thought I was getting somewhere. Wait. I am getting somewhere. Huh. Are there going to be any more goodies out here? Doesn't really seem so. I was... I wasn't really expecting to get out again, but here I am. Can I go this way? One of the trees just randomly didn't have any collision. Shit's fucking weird. Here we are again. Okay. And just... Wait. This isn't where I came in from, is it? Hmm. 
No, I'm back at the well. Okay. I want to go back down. See, look, yeah, right here. You can go through. You can go through and just uh, skip out of bounds. That's kind of funny. I was expecting more, more weird shit out here. No more, no more, uh, ghost sex. How sad. Maybe you'll find a leprechaun? I already have sushi fish, he's my leprechaun. Okay. Where's the rabbit orgy? So, oh shit, okay. Fuck! I press shift. I don't have ammo, I don't think. I'm... Okay. I'm an idiot. Um. Alright, let's shoot up on heroin real quick. Don't mind me. Do I not have ammo for this thing either? I just have no ammo apparently. Okay. I didn't realize that. I thought I had ammo for some reason. Oh no, I do. It's just not letting me shoot it. Huh. Weird. What the fuck should I do here then? Guess I'll risk it and try to run away again. Um, well, that kind of puts a puts a damper on my ideas for going forward, huh? Shows the coin so I see that. Alright, we can't risk a canister smash. Okay. I don't want to waste bullets. Are there coin flips in this one? Yes. So let's... I think he's your last lucky coin the game is trying to pull from that, but it's still showing up on the UI. Can't just smash have a chance to one shot? No, it just does like 40 plus damage. It's just... It hurts. This is not something I really want to contend with. And thank you, young guy, for 38 months. I appreciate it, dude. How are you? Am I still on heroin? I am. Alright, we gotta risk it. Alright, heroin strike. Sometimes you just gotta fucking shoot up and uh, hope for the best, right? Ten shillings is all I got. Okay. Because I want healing. Wait, am I... Okay, I, I'm not poisoned. So the, the pesticide doesn't always poison you. I feel like that idea has ruined many lives. Okay, we got a red herb. Yummy! And a glass vial. 
Okay. I wonder what's left of this town. Can I just go th This isn't the gate. No. I can make sure I still have my, uh... My heroin buff so I can kill these guys. Alright. Heroin is very powerful. <laughs> heroin is very good. I love heroin. It's my it's my favorite thing. Okay. Just got to make sure you have it up whenever you're going to fight someone, I guess. Experience any kickbacks from heroin? No, I've been using it too much. <laughs> it's, uh, it's just too good. Oh, no, there it is. Weird. So, that's interesting to me. If you go south at that, uh, fork, and you try to go back up here, there are a fuck ton of dudes here. But if you go this way initially, it doesn't seem to be the case. Hmm. Light blue vial, that's really good. Maybe now that we've, uh... We use the last coin, we can use guns again. You never know. What's in here? Nothing. Seems like a long demo. Yep. Oh, shit. See... I'm in an un unenviable position right here. Well, let me show. Okay. Actually, what if I just shoot his chest? Will that work? I, I guess not. Um. Weird. Didn't like that idea. I guess not. The the. It's just very bugged right now. Like the guns are not working. We are, we are very, very bugged right now. I'm the girl again. Okay. I th we have a soul now, right? I can... No, I guess I don't. I thought I had one. Uh, hmm. Restart may be necessary? Maybe, but it's kind of funny to see how bugged it is. Better now than hard mode on release? True. I need to turn the AC up. It's getting sweltering in here. I'm a I'm a hot little motherfucker. I'm a stinky boy. The way it helps the devs exactly. Like if the dev ends up watching this and sees like this shit, maybe in some way it'll be useful. Who knows? How much raw makes you take more damage? You know what? I think you're right. Maybe that's why he attacked first too. Because usually you always attack first. It's hot there. Uh, yeah. Uh, heat rises and I live on the second story. With, uh... With like a billion electronics in an aquarium in the room. So it gets really hot no matter what the temperature is. Even if it's like 20 degrees out. Um, if I don't have AC it's going to get sweltering in my room. Because any, any heat in the house rises and cooks me like a fucking bug. Like a little cucaracha. So can I use a gun now? 
No, guns are just fucked. An aquarium adds to the heat with all the electronics for the aquarium and the water evaporating and making it more humid. It definitely contributes. Doesn't necessarily make it too much hotter, but the humidity is, is still uh, a little bit of a pain in the ass. Like, you would be surprised. About an inch of water fucking evaporates from that tank every day. Handgun also not work? Nope. Let's go on Gluteus. If you sleep again, it'll fix it? Maybe. Does one inch of water evaporate every day from your tanks? It's fucking hot. And <laughs> you're not listening? Oh, I got poison. I think I'm fucked. I'm gonna try to, uh... I'm gonna try to just speed through. Need to relaunch the game? No, you did. It's a demo, so the saves aren't persistent. And if you if the game closes, then you uh you lose your progress. Dude, enemies are so much harder to avoid now that they can move diagonally. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Fucking get off of me! Get off of me! Better than dryness? I don't think so. I think that largely boils down to personal preference. I would prefer it to be dry. Was that the gate? It may have been, but I want to see what what's at the end of this place. I don't think I've ever uh, ever gotten through here. It's kind of giving me a a, a a boner kill. An axe. Yay. That's what I'm talking about right there, gamer. That's some real Goku get him shit. A scalpel? What the fuck do I use that for? Is that an item or a weapon? It's a weapon, a shitty one. Did the guy who called the stream retarded yesterday ever come back? Of course not, dude. <laughs> okay, so there's a guaranteed bone saw. Hold on. Give an offer. Brown pearl, right? won't let me give an offering. I think maybe the little uh, pig-headed guy's head will count, but... It's a modern version of the throwing knife. No, because those counted as items, not weapons. White vial. Okay. Seems like you get those from fridges a lot. Can I sleep here? What will happen if I sleep in this bed? I... I... I figured, just, just checking everything out. <laughs> I keep changing forms. Keep changing characters, sprites, it's funny. 
Okay. Hmm. Character a shapeshifter? Uh, no. It's just a bug with the game, I believe. Alright. So not having guns is going to make killing the dude with the, uh, with the face very hard. Like, I'm gonna have to find another booby trap or another bear trap or something. Because I'm just gonna take a... Take a massive amount of damage fighting him normally. The dude with the face? You know who I'm talking about. The guy with the little pig face. Thank you, Renathan, for the 19 months. I appreciate it, dog. Thank you, thank you. I have an idea, though. What if I take heroin and shoot him in the chest? Will I do enough damage to kill him in one turn? Don't know about you, but I'm ready for Fear and Hunger 3. This is just a demo. It feels like a full game. Heroin due to gunshots. Well, let me let me see. Yeah, see, my attack's 95 now. It's just a flat attack increase, so it'll apply to bullets too. It doesn't make any sense, but that's how the game mechanics work. Just under the amount I need. I think I need 400. What's this game about? Uh, getting fucked by men in pig masks, apparently. Because <laughs> we did you like a goddamn dandelion? Yeah, I got fucked. I got dicked. This is, uh... I guess I just gotta go through just being a little baby bitch. Just stop fighting shit, seeing uh, how far I can get. How's this game different? Well, it has guns to start off with. Ugh. So I gotta evade all these townspeople. It's a different setting. It's the sequel that takes uh, place hundreds of years after the first game. I'm still kind of just puzzling my way around it. There's still cocks. Uh, oh, man. Oh, man. Damn, dude. Relentless. Absolutely relentless. I'm glad that running is so, uh... So easy to pull off most of the time. It's like a 90%, it feels like. Okay, what's this? Lucky coin, that's right. Bottle of vodka. Lucky coin. Getting a lot of these lucky coins. I feel like it's something worth a fuck from these chests. Let's go over here and pop this bitch open. I forgot to do the thing. But it doesn't matter because I'm, I'm a fucking legend. I need to get the book. Nothing worthwhile. Okay. So this time I need to perform it successfully. I knew the day was going to come where I they did double tails. That's the first time it's happened.
You don't get a party. Well, getting a party is pretty rough in Fear and Hunger 1 as well. At least at the beginning. Until you know that you can feed the dog at the very least. Okay, so that looks like a, a guaranteed white vial in the fridge. Which is a good thing to have, because one of the biggest things that pissed me off in the first Fear and Hunger is getting poisoned and not being able to find it. It seems like parasites are absent from this game. At least, uh, thus far they are. I haven't seen either parasites or parasite cure yet. The crow sounds fuck with me. Oh yeah, more heroin, big boy. That's what I'm talking about. My name's Tolomeo and I love heroin. And I got a scalp. I really, really dislike that noise. I don't have the faintest fucking clue what it is, but I know I don't like it. Specifically from that green dimension? No, the little, the first little uh, tentacle dudes inject you with parasites. What's going on, Muffin Cap? How you been? I want to go in there, but I also want to see what's down here. Oh, fuck. Okay. We have heroin to blow. Didn't those dudes come from green yet? What's good, Albino? Is a cultist? I feel like I have, but I need to. I need to find everything. I remember there was like a little person who ran away. Oh shit! Necromancy isn't a coin flip anymore. I didn't notice that the first time, but I did this time. Alright, who's gonna be my second ghoul? Ray Romano. Shamelessly, he scratches his groin area. Never change, right? Oh, we got a booby trap, too. Dope. Dope, dope, dope. Okay. Let's see what's up here. This is the dude who runs away, right? Oh, there's another cross. Another corpse outside? No, that's a dead enemy. You can't res those. Oh, shit. Arm yourself. The festival terminal. The festival blood is upon us. Take the rifle on the wall. Okay. So there's not much of a point starting with the rifle because it seems like there's a guaranteed one in this house. There's guaranteed ammo, too. Update or sequel? It's a sequel, but this is also a demo. Rifle still makes huntsman easy. Well, you can come here first. That's what I'm saying. Like you, you can come here without fighting anything if you avoid the enemies properly. Okay. Huh. Let's see what's in here then. Oh, fuck. There's a towering waiter greeting here. Jeeves. Good afternoon, mister. From what I understand, you were a newcomer to this town, too, no? We just got a new mayor to the old town. I'm sure he's thrilled to start his business immediately by meeting the newcomers. Please, he's waiting at the dining room. Oh, boy. From afar, the statue looked convincing and nice, but upon closer look, it's pretty crude. Master's waiting for you at the dining room. See it upstairs. Be advised not to mention Master's Antlers. Okay, well, that's... 
Now I'm real fucking curious. Book of Fears. If you're wondering what that is and why I'm not reading it, it just explains all the phobias. I think Anathomia is the status effects. Books from Fear and Hunger 1. Alchemelia Volume 1. That lets us combine herbs. Four Ages of Modern History. We read that one earlier. And the Skin Bible Chapter of Grogroth. Yeah, that's a new one. We should We should read that. Okay. Grogroth, the destroyer of men, he who ushers a new dawn with force and violence. Grogroth is the other part of the most primal duality, creation and destruction, where the other doesn't exist without the other. The word destruction is often associated with the evil of the world. This, of course, is foolishness. There is no room for new creation if the slate is not first burned clean and empty. A man fears destruction. Man gets accustomed to peace and quiet. Man grows fat and afraid of change. Change is inevitable. Just as Grogoroth. What one needs to understand is that the destruction is of pure kind. It does not target one man specifically. It just exists. Grogoroth is associated with the god of creation, Sylvian, and their child, the god of nature, Venusia. Okay, so we now know concretely who Venusia is. Um, the offspring of Sylvian and Grogoroth. That's the new god that's in this game. Grogoroth offers the mankind the blessing of his blood magic. Constant sacrifices in his name will maintain the relationship. The mark of Grogoroth raises the physical strength of its wearer. The text includes the sigil of Grogoroth and instructions on how to use it. Cool. Throw away a pile of books. So, Doc Peps brought up a good point that maybe there's new status effects and we should read this. Let me see. Confusion or concussion, fracture, broken bone, bleeding wounds, poison, toxic, severe poisoning. Okay, so why am I toxic? We'll be making an appearance in this game. Burn. Infected wound on arm. Blindness. That's a severe mental trauma. Severe physical trauma. Nausea slash sickness. Withdrawal symptoms. Severe withdrawal symptoms. Temporary paralysis. Different stages of hunger and fear. Okay, so heavy anal bleeding does not make an appearance in this game. Uh, I, I guess that that one wasn't, uh, wasn't needed anymore. Probably use Brogoroth symbol if you had engraved. Probably. Yeah, let's use it. Oh, fuck. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, scalpel. Dude, the chests suck dick in this game so far. I haven't gotten anything worth a fuck. Book of Enlightenment is something I want to use now. We have to be nearing the end of the demo at this point. In the original too? No, there, you can get some good shit in the original. Glass vial. Some vodka. Scalpel even better than the starting dagger? I'm not sure. Oh, there appear to be chairs. Pistol? That's true, we did get a pistol. You're right. The officer's sword was a one damage increase, though, so... Can you find literally anything in a chest from the first one? More or less, you can get some retarded shit. Okay. To a boss weapon? Oh, fuck. Newcomer, new comes, then the new goes. Just in time for dinner. Sit down. Okay. Holy shit. Newcomer, isn't it peaceful here? I'm glad to see you're not a complete loony yet, unlike those others. You saw those people, didn't you? One can only wonder what happened to the folks around these parts, too. What the fuck are you talking about? You have antlers. They drifted far from humanity, only thing... <coughs> Seth, stop that. They seem interested in, his, in scavenging the scraps around the old town. How am I to have in-depth discussions with them? 
I want to talk about poetry, music, and culinary arts. You don't seem so normal yourself either. What are you talking about? Your antlers, for starters. What exactly are you suggesting? You come to my dinner table just to insult me? I don't like your fork. Yeah, so turns out withdrawal really sucks. You go you go last and you do no damage. I mean I'm fucked. Okay. Thank you, dog machines, for the four year resub, dude. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. How are ya? What do you mean, hi, question mark? You don't want to say hi to beautiful, sweet cherub Tolomeo? This is why if you're going to insult someone at dinner, you got to shoot up on heroin prior. Aye, aye, aye. Okay. Uh, guess what happened? That's rough, dude. Alright, so we gotta start this shit up again. Time to alt F4. The fuck is Sif doing? She's eating, asshole. Is that a fucking crime? Dog can't eat in peace? What's going on, Chovy? She's hungry. We haven't gone to Whataburger. Oh, shit. Well, thank God for that. That's a relief. Okay. Let's go ahead and, and buff up. I want to kill the mayor. We should kill the mayor, right, chat? Like, if, if we can. I just want to see what happens if you kill him. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to. Dude, what happens if I sleep in his fucking bed? You were assaulted by the priest. Oh no, don't smile, dude. Romano, use your steam, dude! Okay, we got the priest. What's he got? Find a soul stone. Yeah, I'll use a soul stone on him. Fuck him. Beat your ass. Okay, so what happens if I sleep here now? Oh, I can just, I can just save. Welcome back to the tower. The Hexen. Let's see if we can level something up. Yes. I want to learn the skill gunslinger. That sounds dope. Let's save. A different slot, of course. Okay. 
Okay. Advanced use of pistols, you're able to shoot accurately. Arms off, even from a distance, used on fields. Wait, what the fuck? We're in the wrong room. We went back to, uh, the original save spot. There's no way that's intentional. Well, we found what happens when we, uh, when we kill the priest. It seems rather busted. It, it is a demo. Like, to be fair, it is a demo. Okay. Oh. Um, I wonder if we're gonna be able to kick this dude's ass. Fuck. I messed up. Alright, well, we can fight him later. I'll just go through his... His dialogue. We're in the same boat here, my friend. I don't have the answers. I heard the Bremen military meddled with something. Some say the moonlight scorched this earth into something unrecognizable, and the town folks say it's always been this way. Newcomer, you haven't touched the food yet. These are rare delicacies you can only find in Prehevel. Travel from far just to experience them. Pick these, for example. Don't they look absolutely delicious? Use your imagination. Food can be as inspiring as the highest form of painted art or the most complicated musical arrangements. What comes to mind when you look at these dangling beauties? Our choices are meatballs, kidneys, embryos, cotton candy, the duality of the mind. Yeah, the duality of the mind. Now you're just showing off what the hell is that supposed to even mean? Are you even taking this seriously? Let's see, yes. <laughs> what about this little squirmy thing? What comes to your mind? <laughs> your antlers! Now why the hell would you say something like that? I've got withdrawal, so I'm fucked. This dude can do like 150 damage in one turn. That's pretty intense. That's a that's a lot of damage. It turns out. You take more joy, yeah. I think this dude, you gotta get his legs and then uh, break his head. Wait, I did the wrong save. Okay. Oopsie. So I'm starting to wonder if you can even get through the conversation with them. Wait, what the fuck? Am I high? There we go. I wanna fuck him up. You did the white vial? My bad. I messed up. Okay. So, I just don't have enough health is the problem. Like my HP is really low. If I had more health, I think I'd be able to do it. Okay. He called me a shrimp! Shrimp are friends. Okay. 
Rev up and get that get that left arm. Holy shit, how tanky is his left arm? Okay. I think we need to hit his legs. I think it's abundantly clear that you're intended to hit his legs. You can probably break his legs and then chop his head off. I think that's the idea. I think you need to talk it out. No, I want to see if I can kill him. A thousand per arm? Yeah, that's no good. It's like a hundred per leg. Like I'm experimenting. Okay. And you know what? Hold on. Let me get the fucking gun, too, while we're at it. Use heroin on the zombie? I have no idea. I guess you could try it. Don't don't hit me, whatever you do. Ah, that's it. The missing's really annoying this time around. It's such a big factor compared to the first one. It happens so much. Hmm. Okay. Maybe it happens the same amount and I'm just misremembering. So let me see if I can use heroin on the zombie, because that would be pretty, pretty amazing. A fucking course you can. But it... It locks up your menu, so you can't hit escape anymore, because I don't think they expected you to use it on the zombie. So it didn't play the animation, now the game doesn't know what to do. So you're not supposed to give Ray Romano heroin, that's the moral of the story. He's also not buffed by it whatsoever. It didn't seem like anything happened for breaking his legs. fuck is going on? Imagine if I got this RNG when I actually took the heroin. Okay. Everyone shit at aiming now? Yeah, yeah, I rubbed off on the gentleman. This is so wacky. Okay. You what? You heard me. I rubbed off all over his face. You just need to chat with him? I want to try to kill him. Okay. Um. What I need is black orb. That would make things a lot more manageable. Why the fuck don't I have that yet? Okay. <sighs> Just good luck, heroin.
Fuck, I didn't mean to go for the head. I'm probably fucked now. Yep. Feels bad, man. He's not going for Ray Romano. Choo choo, bitches. Forkarm first hits twice. There's no way you have enough health to break both of his arms. I hate how it defaults to the bottom one. Okay. Thank you, Rain, for the 19-month resub. I appreciate it, dude. Thank you very much. Okay. Is this a new Fear and Hunger game? Yes. So I can't go there. Huh. I just need more health, basically. Like, you can do it, you just need more health. Your healing items are pretty, uh... Pretty few and far between at this point. Maybe I can find something in here. Uh-oh. Oh, well, here's that fucking priest we saw earlier. See what happens when we just talk to him. Oh. He looks like my dad. Oh, Ray Romano killed him. That's that was pretty unexpected. Pray Grogoroth. Hold on. Hold on. Sacrifice Ray Romano. Alright, fuck Ray Romano. It does the same thing it oh shit. Hold up. What's this? What's over here? Maybe you're not supposed to interact with the dude at all. He ain't new magic? I don't think so. Can you resurrect him again? Nope. Alright, let's just try to win the conversation. I'll try to kill that dude, but I need to win the the conversation and see how this shit actually is supposed to go. Reinforced door is locked tightly. Ain't that a bummer? Thankfully, we can just go into that one. Want that gent dead? Probably needs to use soul stones to get new spells. Now, speaking of which, I could do that. I need an empty scroll so I can give myself Locust Swarm. That's what really needs to happen. Okay. Combat manual. Too bad you can't revive priests. Three man sounds cute. There are two corpses we can get. Now that we know where they are. Um, we can get a three man. If we had three corpses in full health for this guy, it probably wouldn't be too bad. Okay. Sit down. Mm -hmm. I've already gone through here, so let's see. So what do you what do you think we should say here? Meatballs. 
I'm thinking meatballs or embryos. Kidneys. Let's do cotton candy. It sure don't taste like cotton candy. I wonder if such salty treats are gonna waste with the likes of you. Let's see, yes. What about this little scormy thing? What comes to your mind? Dare not say. Oh, but I insist. What about this little squirmy thing? Male genitalia. Such vulgar talk on my dinner table. I don't think you like that. This guy's an asshole. I wasn't gonna say, and then you, you forced me to. This dude really seems like he's not a very, very kind gentleman. Then snakes. It's gotta be snakes. It, it looks like male, gen male genitalia, though. Like... <laughs> okay. Embryos. The beginning and the end of life, I like your way of thinking. What about this little squirmy thing? Snakes. Slithering on the ground, yes, the deceiving one. This one is my favorite. This peculiar fungus, what is the first thing that comes to your mind? Family. We do not talk about family on this ta table. The atmosphere on the table became cold very suddenly. How about you, but I'm full. I thank you for the company. From what I understand, you were needed in the city. I do have the key, however, I love. One last question. Do you support the Bremen? Or are you a Kaiser, so to speak? I support the Bremen army. Afraid you are not the kind I was hoping for. Oh my god. <laughs> this dude is an asshole. Mayor's a piece of shit. Politics during Thanksgiving. You think you're gonna get away from it. You eat all the food, and at the very end. So how about that, Trump? You know if you don't say anything, they're gonna press you on it. You know they're not gonna like your answer one way or the other. Uh, what the fuck? This can't win. Can't talk about family, but we can talk about politics. I wonder what the right answer is for that last one. Probably a rainy day. Please try to win the talk I am. What do you think I'm fucking doing? Like I got all of them, all of them mostly right until the end. Rainy day. I can see that you can still smell the damp forest floor. What about you, but I'm full. Thank you for the company. From what I understand, you were needed in the city. I fight against the Bremen army. Haha, ha, yes, you have my support. Here, the key is yours. Other key is with the army, I'm afraid. Please be discreet. I do not wish to start trouble with the Kaiser. Do not mention my part in this. How fucked would it be if he saw me loot the urn and decided to, to get mad at me? His head tracks you across the room, too. What happens if I talk to him again? Okay, so you can attack him whenever you want. You can come back and beat the fuck out of him. That's what I was checking for. So now we need to find where we put the keys. Get a most pleasant meal. 
A really in-depth demo? I know, I don't even know where the fucking doors are. Can you shoot him from across the table? I don't know. Hungary said we just ate dinner, but it didn't. It didn't at all. I ate cock and balls. And it still didn't matter. Chain gun. That'd be dope as fuck if they put Gatling guns in this. Okay, well, I guess, uh... I guess we're going this way, huh? And there we get enough cock and balls, TBH. <laughs> Hope you don't get a chain gun that would ruin it. Nah, that'd be sick. I bet you there's gonna be an enemy with a chain gun dick, though. You know it's coming. In more ways than one. It's gonna be the new Crow Mauler. Beating Grogoroth with an AK-47. I wonder how much prominence the old gods uh, from the first game are gonna have in this one besides the Moon God. Oh, oh dearie me. Well, I have a solution for this. Let me shoot up. Power's declining and so is their influence, yeah? Yeah, you're probably right. Except perhaps the one uh, that's the child of Grogroth and Sylvan. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> Come on. The missing. That's not what I meant to. Oh, no, it was the chest. Okay. Three. New fear and hunger? Yeah, it's just the demo, though. It's not the full game. We've been playing for like almost four and a half hours now, so it's a pretty involved demo. Moon gold, God, no God, I think so. Arm grew back. It did. That didn't used to happen in Fear and Hunger. You used to be able to chop, like, the guards uh, shit off and just be done with it. Like, run away and then redo it. The tree lady? No, that's Sylvan. I mean, bleeding anuses so far? None. Oh, fuck. Thank you for pesticiding Ray Romano and not me. I appreciate it. The new Rev Up shit is really cool. I'm not gonna lie. Hold on. I have an idea, though. I want- there's that guaranteed bone saw in the basement. I'm gonna go get that and offer it- see if offering his head at the circle does anything. Okay. Missed a blinking thing? I'll get it on the way back. I gotta go back to Pigman. To chop his head off. I just forgot to get the guaranteed uh, bone saw down here to do it. I was kind of worried the demo was going to be like 30 minutes long or some shit. I don't think very many people expected it to be this long. Holy fuck. I need to kill that gentleman. Their full game shorter than this and not free. Expected one hour at most. Seems like the fear and hunger dev rarely disappoints. Is it harder or easier? I'm finding it harder. But it, it's weird. Like, it's harder in some ways and easier than in others. Um, like, you can have guns on the overworld to just shoot people to death. Like, one of the big enemies early on, 
Uh, we beat by just shooting him with the fucking gun. And he wasn't a big deal. But when you actually get into combat, it seems harder. Like when you're actually fighting things and not just trying to shoot them from the overworld. So I don't know yet. It's too early to tell whether it's a good or bad thing. I can see it being a bad thing uh, with how good the guns are. But even with the guns, it's still been decently difficult up until this point. Okay, there's nine millimeters up here. And then I got another pistol. More or less grotesque. It's grotesque, but there haven't been any uh, heavy anal bleeding incidents yet. There was a monster made out of three cun cuns, though. Are guns better than throwing knives? Oh, absolutely not. Throwing knives in the original were insanely overpowered. There's a person in here, I think. Remember. To find the gun. Well, there, there's a gun that's static that you can find 100% of the time in one of these houses. I wandered off the fucking nowhere. Triple coochie death sounds. I'm interested in that, too, because there was this really fucked up implement in that arena that had no apparent use, and I'm guessing they put you on it and... and, and just... I... I can only speculate what happens, but I, it looks like it's gonna be one of those things from the original. Okay. Let's go chop Piggy's head off. Let's see if we can put it in the ritual circle. Delicious. I do have cloth to stop the bleeding, you're right. I just forgot that was a thing, TBH. Not that it really matters, my body's seven. Eight directional movement, I know. It makes it harder to avoid enemies, believe it or not, because they can do it too. It's really nice though. Like one of the big annoyances of the first one, there were a lot of things like spiral staircases where you really wanted to be able to move diagonally. But you could only move uh omni uh like in four directions. So it just you got fucked up. It was a pain in the ass climbing that giant ass tower. Put the offering on the center of the circle. The air cools down and becomes thicker. It feels heavy just to breathe. Oh, well, holy shit. New God. Unbearable existence, the suffering, the agony. We play the secret song that echoes from within. The sound that is like razors through flesh. Can you hear it? Yes, you can hear my voice after all. You who came with the offering, ask and thou shalt receive. Receive a soul stone. Explorer of the further regions, farewell. The air got lighter again, feels like a burden is off your shoulders. So I wonder if I could chop Elephant Man Jr.'s head off. Might be smart to save? Might be, but I'm not known for being smart. Wonder if there'll be a choice in a full release? Bet you 20 bucks he wakes up. He still breathes when you pick up his head. That elephant guy was fucked up to kill, too. Like, it's not exactly easy to kill him. I think the only time I actually did it was my little passive proc that got the insta-kill. Mm. Okay. Let's go to a save point. Let's go back to that house. But I'm also... Here are the doors. It's gotta end here. It's, it's, 
yes. Thank you for playing the demo of Fear and Hunger Terminal. You made it to the end. That's impressive. But it's only a small teaser, but hopefully you enjoyed it. Don't even dare to predict when the full game will come out, but there will be new demo versions coming in near future. Go check out the first game if you haven't already. Yeah, definitely. Like, this dude released a fucking four-hour-long teaser. Christ. Christ almighty. Well, I need to find out how to kill that fucking gentleman. Four hour and didn't see everything? Yeah. Definitely no, I haven't seen everything. Like, I'm, I'm tempted to keep playing, but I'm also tempted to, like, wait and save some for the full game. I don't really know. I want to at least kill the gentleman. What did we not do? I feel like he just released the unfinished version. I wonder if stuff will get removed before the full game. Lose the coochie monster? I don't want to get banned. Attack the people at the train. I already tried to shoot, like, uh, friendly NPCs early. I wonder what the deal was with the little elephant man where you killed him and he ended up uh, following you even though he was already dead. Try to kill elephant man and saw his head or use a soul stone on him? Let me try to do a another playthrough with the necromancer. There's some things I would like to try. We need to name ourselves something for good luck. Get a three man squad going. That's what I'm going to try to do now that I know where those guys are. Egg is a lucky name. Why are you guys saying egg? Do you know something I don't? Skip the character history. No, I want to start out. I want to start out right. Okay. We're doing blood magic because we want Necro. Okay, I, I picked... Uh, the, the default is Grogoroth. I messed up. But that's okay, that's not a bad thing. I still haven't figured out how to make the game be full screen. Hold on. There's a... There we go. You just have to press F4. I, I pressed F5. That resets it, actually. Um, it's been that way since the first game. I just don't do it because playing it full screen uh, makes it crash more often. Okay. Bogoroth is Mr. Bloodman, so that's probably... Okay, yeah, Grogroth's fine. That's how you get a- Oh, I accidentally skipped everything. Oopsie. Not named Egg Reset. I'm resetting. You get to see this uh, intro a lot. Okay. We're Egg. I don't know why you're you're so uh, fixated on it being egg, but there it is. We're, we're the rat egg. Eggs are funny, Tolo. Hee hee. Do you think we'll get one for each god again? Or we'll be just two. What do you mean? Let's 
stock up on medical goods. Healing was the the biggest problem last time. Playable characters? Well, I don't know. I have no idea. Alright, so let's check this shit out. Let's see if we can make the occultist work. My my objectives are trying to figure out how to consistently kill Elephant Man Jr. and the Gentleman. Uh, both of those are pretty rough fights. So we'll see if we can find something out. Okay. Go through this slowly so you don't have to go through a billion things of text. There we go. Alright, so I'm going to try to evade enemies for as long as possible because my combat... <laughs> my combat abilities at the beginning are pretty lackluster. Can I have the Yellow Mage be playable? No, he's definitely going to be playable. Uh, that was the first thing he actually released about this game was the Yellow Mage. Wonder if anyone else has found that little uh, thing with with Kahara fucking the ghost. Okay, let's get this. I wonder also if we can do the uh, the little tree person. If we can get anything going on with him, or if that's just not in the game yet. And the only spell it has is Locust Swarm. Hey, I'll take it. This is actually going to be pretty hard. There's so many enemies at the start. There's the Lumberjack dude. There's the fucking dogs. Okay. Data Fear and Hunger? They have, but this is a new one. This is Fear and Hunger Termina. But in the main game, they added some shit that I haven't seen. This game made in RPG Maker. I wonder if any armor's in this demo. There is. We got a Dragoon helmet earlier. Should I wake him up twice? I don't know how to wake him up twice. I couldn't figure out a way to wake him up twice. Ghosts in the cave. No, I did that update. The ghosts were... You have to use magic on them. I didn't do the ones with the, uh, the elite guards. Okay. Okay, I can just get shanked. Yeah, he got fucked up. I also kind of want to see the lumberjack man's penis attack. I probably shouldn't provoke that, but I have a morbid sense of curiosity. Kind of curious. Also, don't know what the hell's going down in the basement. Should probably try to figure that out. Because that doesn't seem like something that would be left uh, open-ended for the future. But I don't know what I would do. Because I feel like the dev for Fear and Hunger is the kind of dude that have a bunch of shit just lying around in the demo. Probably a coin flip, not to be fucked to death. Dev make his own art? I'm pretty sure he does. Okay. So I know what I have to do here, I think. But I've got to execute it properly. I, there's one house that just has the gun. And once I get that, I'll have some wiggle room. That'll let me kill the lumberjack, I think. Jump down the well, it won't let you. The shit pit is back, though. There's there's another shit pit. Okay. I love it. Yeah, the dude never disappoints. The dude is just infallible, I guess. It perplexes me. See, I'll even show you. I'm not jumping down, though. <laughs> I'm not... I'm not not fucking myself again. 
Okay. Oh shit. This could potentially go sour. This is likely not good. Okay. Oh, fucked. Oh. Okay. We had good RNG on items, too, so don't go in that alleyway, I guess. That's a bummer. Getting the, uh, the bad runaway RNG before, uh, before you can even get the first save. Because I gotta get the gun before I do anything. I'm just gonna skip it, I don't care. <laughs> just, just get on with it, hurry it up. Couple rats that run away after seeing you. I wonder if that's like the whole mastery of insects thing. It might be. Now that there's a god of nature who's been added to the game, it wouldn't surprise me. No more necromancy. She starts with necromancy. As well as engrave. Which is what you would use the scalpel for, I guess. What's going on, Fitzy J? How are you, dude? I wonder if you can engrave the zombies. Okay. So I'll we'll find something. Oh, I'll find something broken. Once the full game comes out. I'm just kind of putzing around and seeing shit. Because, like, if it's anything like Fear and Hunger 1, there were a lot of ways you could break the game really easily. Okay. I should really just rush the gun. Because I need the gun to kill the, uh, to kill the lumberjack man. And right by the gun is the, uh, the first corpse to resurrect as well. Choice thing where you can get different shit starting out. Yeah, they, they all do. That's just a fear and hunger staple. I wonder if you could just get magic if you were to pick a cult. Like, it's something a little bit more powerful early game. Necromancy, combustion dog, throwing knives, locust swarm, my, yeah, miasma. <laughs> it's just, the list goes on and on. Pyro trick, that's what I figured, either pyro trick or hurting. I haven't seen hurting yet in the game. Pyro trick still headshot? It might. Dark orb? No, there's no way you're gonna get black orb at the beginning. That would be retarded. <laughs> that would be, like, the dumbest shit. Unless it got nerfed to be, like, just three small hits instead of three hits of 30. It would be fucking insane. Maybe you get uh, Dark Orb, but you start with no legs. That would be a neat trade-off, honestly. Man, I gotta say though, the people who said that Fear and Hunger 1 was too hard and you needed to use a cheat engine to enjoy it are gonna fucking hate this game. Because <laughs> I, I, I don't know, man. That seems like it's, uh, they're not gonna have a, a grand old time with that. Oh lord, give Yiffing Spear. I hope that shit's not back in the game. No more Sergle Spears. No more, no more furry shit, dude. Fifty percent death coins were bullshit, though. The only time you were really uh, gonna face a fifty percent death is if you already fucked up, though. Is the thing. Cool. This is actually the best point where we could get this book of enlightenment. We're gonna use that right now. Yes, fear is important. Fear and hunger lore, new tolo. 
I'm glad about the hardness he didn't pitch out on it. I thought he said he was going to try to make it easier, too. I think he just meant the coin flips, I guess, because the coin flips are significantly less irritating. Is that a save book? It was. I I got pretty lucky getting it. Now I don't have to skip the little intro thing all the time. <laughs> The goat is significant somehow? See, the question is... I believe... The goat is significant. I believe... That the tree man is significant. But the question is, can we do anything about it in the demo? I... I'm... Oh, I'm fully convinced you're not gonna be able to do everything in the demo. Like there's gonna be shit that you gotta you gotta wait for the main game, or or the next demo update or whatever, because that would just make sense to me. Oh fuck, this is not going well. Got heroin at least. Um, I gotta I gotta use the heroin. Maybe not here. I got, I'm gonna just risk running. Oh fuck, that's pretty miserable. <laughs> that's unfortunate. Check up on the train people near the end of the demo? I did not. As long as you get the, the runaway RNG, you're good, but it really sucks when you don't. Okay, let's see. I guess I can't interact with that one. I also haven't found that dude who ran away again since the first time. Black Matter, right, we have that. Is there something we can do with that? Apparently it has pasta in it. It's not like the black liquid from the first game. It's just some, some crazy woman's cooking. How sad. Okay. There's some bullets here. A booby trap, cool. Dude, right away was the player soldier? You might be right. Funny if you could give it to the gentleman. Okay. Do any of the TVs work? Uh, not that I've seen, there's no electricity. Maybe one of the skill trees will give you electricity. You can zap the TVs to the extreme and you can watch pornography on them. Wonder if the gentleman react differently to you if you're not a soldier? Maybe. Okay. But there's nothing worthwhile here. I'm getting all these pills though, which is good. More drugs for the important fights. See, I've got heroin. I want to save it for the bosses, though. That actually kind of scared me. I thought someone was going after me. <laughs> I thought, thought uh, T-Dog was going to die. All right, so we want to avoid pesticide, man, for as long as possible. I, I really can't be fucked to deal with pesticide, man, right now. Blue vial, that's good. Okay, let's not do the same thing we did last time. Hope the dev adds more drugs to the game. What drugs would you like to see in Fear and Hunger? See, we still haven't found out what that fucking awful noise is.
LSD, Joy, Janko, classic. I think I made an uh-oh. Yeah, when you go down here, a couple villagers spawn. Are we saying drug names? Yeah, there's drugs in this game. You can shoot up heroin now. It's really what I always wanted in Fear and Hunger 1 was the ability to, uh, to stop an enemy in their tracks by deciding to shoot heroin. Some pretty good shit. Caffeine had a chance of... Pumpkin Spice Monster to one-shot you? Alright. Come on. A bear trap. Good. That's great. Getting some good, uh, good rolls on those things. Alright. Heads or tails, chat? Tails, all right. I hate each and every one of you. Always head, always heads, every single time. Never, never tails. Okay. Tails, miles per hour? Please, please stop. She always toss two coins? No. Who's there? Boy, with the overalls. Yeah, this does look like the soldier, doesn't it? You're right, I think. I'm curious. I'm not sure I want to try it right now, but I wonder what would happen if I took heroin, slept in the bed, then the normal villager attacks, and I one-shot his body, take no damage. Would I be able to sleep in that bed and use it as a save point? I don't think I could kill him in one shot without the axe or a gun, though, is the problem. Like, I need either or. Should I try this without a without a lucky coin? Te heads, heads, always heads. A pickle halb. What the fuck? It's a helmet. I'm a I'm a pickle suited um <clears throat> uh, lady. Okay, so there's two, there's uh. Two different kinds of helmet you can get now. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Alright, asshole. Okay. I'm gonna... Fuck up the, the pig head now? I don't really want to, it's too early. I need to kill the lumberjack so I can save. And then I'll then that's what I'm gonna start trying dumb shit again. Okay. Oh shit. You know what? Let me take the gun before before <laughs> before I talk to this dude again. Sweaty and shaking, are you okay? No, obviously. Pant, pant, sorry. I'm, these are withdrawals. Withdrawals of what? Opioids. I thought I'd be okay. Is there anything I could do? No? Thanks anyway. Give him heroin! Seriously? Look away as he injects the heroin. Thanks. Maybe this place wasn't the best place to quit. My name is Levi. We're on the same train. I remember seeing you sleeping. He's avoiding eye contact, but seems decent otherwise. 
Not feeling all that well. Would it be already? Dude, are you fucking kidding me? Why the fuck would you not pick a cultist if you can just get this dude as your party member? <laughs> what the fuck? I wonder how you get the uh, occultist as Levi then. Ain't that some shit? Okay. Well, goddamn. Gonna rob you and ditch you? That's actually not. He, yeah, he. <laughs> look at this. I can see a numerous, uh, numerous ways where this could go wrong. That <laughs> doesn't look safe. I bet you he's gonna ask for more heroin or some shit, and if you don't have it, he just fucks you. That's probably how this is gonna play out. Giving the girl the gun. Oh, I have a gun. What's good tomato is a fruit. Okay. Thank you, Rose Pie, for continuing your gift sub. I appreciate it, dog. Thank you very much. Uh oh. He's already got withdrawals. God damn it. How much ammo do I have? I don't know what the fuck just happened, but I outmaneuvered the shit out of that guy. <laughs> Dude just got his, his his dick chopped off. Hold on, wait. We can get more items in here. We don't have to do the part with the gentleman just yet. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I've got a fucking idea. I've got a dumb fucking idea. I'm gonna try this and risk everything. How'd you get the soldier? I gave him heroin. Say, book, I don't have one. I'm gonna try to shoot the priest and sleep in that bed. That'll probably be easier than going all the way back. Because you know how the priest attacks you when you try to sleep down there. Oh, I got the skin bible. I already read this one. Two armed kids and a zombie. Okay, so let me see. Can I use that now? Okay. The carving is done. What did that accomplish? Oh, it increases mind by 25 points. So I'm guessing since Grogoroth said that it increases health, if you carve... Oh shit, look at his face! It's like fucking Jigglypuff drew on that shit. I thought this was a book that actually gave me something, goddammit. YouTube makeup artist power up. <laughs> okay. Goddamn. How many small keys do I have? Only one, then we're not gonna use it here. We're gonna use it on the bedroom. Wait, hold on.
How far does this dude follow me? Okay. We should be good for the, uh... The bear trap. Oh shit, he hit my dude on the other end. Okay. That's right, I forget if they hit your caboose you get in combat too. Okay, we managed to kill him without even incurring a little bit of damage. So that went swimmingly. Okay. Good shit. Good fucking shit, brother. What's in the pot? A vegetable pie. Use some items. It's a bear trap. For a bear trap and one bullet. Uh... So, you take his head too, can I? Oh fuck, I can. It's a goddamn headhunter. Okay. Yes. Now let's save. Damn, this has been good. This has been a good run. Okay, and we can level up now too. What should we get? There's necromancy. This is Grogoroth symbol. Uh, we can get hurting. Holy shit, that's what I want. I need more affinity with Grogoroth, I think. Soul to learn the skill meditation? Sure. Why not? Is this censored? No, it shouldn't be. We've seen a cock here and there. Alright. What's my skill now? What's meditation do? An extra rev point at the start of a battle? That's actually fucking amazing. That's insanely good. Skin Bible chapter of Grogroth. Dude, why can't I hold all of these fucking... <laughs> what is this run? Now I can inscribe Grogroth on both of my dudes and increase my physicals. Holy shit. Okay. Can we still fuck a ghoul? I haven't seen the ability to do it yet. Wait, it didn't increase health. It increased damage, didn't it? Okay, hold on. My attack is 40. What happens if I engrave myself? Forty-four, so about a 10% increase in attack. That's, that's definitely not bad. I'm assuming you can only carve one thing on you. God, all, all, all of us are just tattooed uh, miscreants. Okay. So, let me see. I'm gonna try to do multiple carvings. Okay. So yeah, you can only do one. I gave the zombie mind of all things. Like out of all the things to give them the zombie, I gave him a a more a more uh, fortified mind. Okay. Oh, I got another key. Good shit. That means I can explore more of the castle. What's going on, Grump Veteran? Doesn't he have zero mind? No, they have mind. It just doesn't do much with the zombie. 
It's not the best thing in the world. It's definitely not optimal. Okay, so let's go in here. Let's lose a roll on a chest. Oh, another pickle hop. Cool. I need more heroin for my other guy, though. That's the big thing right now. Like, that's like the last thing I need for everything to just fall into place is the heroin. Newspaper, I already read it. It's, it's nothing special. Okay, so if we go over here, there's a basement we can go down. How's the lore so far? It's pretty good, it connects with the first one, obviously. My demo run, good shit, man. I actually have to buy the game. Damn, you finished it faster than I did. <laughs> That's, uh... Dash skill when? I don't think they have it this time around. I don't think he's gonna make the same mistake twice. Oh, shit. Rifle ammo. Okay. This is, uh... This is looking pretty crazy so far. I think I have, like, 12 rifle bullets. And with two characters, I can probably actually kill the elephant head, provided I get heroin for the other guy. Alright. That's just... Hold on. Do the pet pills get rid of... Matral? No, it's just a separate drug. Shoot the mayor in the face. That time will come. We've got to do, uh, Elephant Fucklin first. How hard is heroin to find? It's just RNG. Like, whenever you, uh... Whenever you search a container, you just get random shit. Sometimes you get heroin, sometimes you don't. I mean, worst case scenario, if we don't get heroin, the dude's still a meat shield. So, we need to expedite this because the thing about this game is the longer you, you take, the more hunger you develop, which is not good. Why is that dude named after the Finn's word for fuck? Who, Hanky Chan? I can't believe I just fucking... I got away from that dude. Okay. Have to kill your own party members at some point? Yeah. Levi's one of the chosen, so that means... That we would, we would have to kill him. Okay, let's give an offering. Because this will give us a level up. raise them from the dead after you've cut them down. Is that a little girl from Fear and Hunger? No, it's probably just a random new god. Okay. Oh, fuck. Dude. Wow, my damage is truly dog shit on this character. And then Hanky just punched him in the fucking face and killed him, so. <laughs> uh. I don't. I just. It's best to run away. I have two chances to run away. There's just no reason not to run TBH. 
But I need to kill the, the woodsman for the axe so I have a weapon worth a fuck. Actually, you know what? Hold on. What am I talking about? I've got this. But I need to fix my hunger problem here. so lucky that that missed. See, the fact that this dude doesn't have heroin means he always goes last, which just... He's, he's like... He's less than worthless, basically, because of that. Huh. Okay. I'm gonna try the risky strat. Just gonna try to run through all of it, all of this. Sif slurps. Oh shit! What's this dude doing here? Okay, lady, you need you need to move. Lady, you, you need to move. Goody, 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 goody. That went well. Okay. But I don't really want to attack with, uh, with the gun. So we'll just gun him to death, because I'm pretty sure his... For some reason, this dude's tackle hits for, like, zero every time. Hank's just really good at punching heads off, apparently. Uh-oh. That was a bug. I actually pressed enter that time. I don't know why I fired a bullet. Okay. I need to take that off. Okay. I'm gonna try some dumb fucking idea. I'm gonna cut off its head? Oh shit. See, once you have multiple party members, you can do cheese strats. Like, have it set up to where you swing at the uh, head with one character. Because if you hit them in the head, they just die. And have the other character run, so if you miss, you just run away and they can't retaliate. Growing limbs a mechanic or a bug, it's a bug. In the first game, they never did that. I just saw everyone set off. Come here, I wanna- I wanna fight you more. Oh no, you have that back. Never mind, I don't wanna fight you anymore. That's kind of annoying that the limbs regenerate sometimes. I- I can't say I'm a huge fan of that. I know it's a bug, but goddamn. Okay. So what I'm trying to do is get back to the bed because I've got a lot of trophies so I can get some skill points and then go back to bed. 
and level up a few times. So leveling up seems like it's actually going to be really quick if you can if you can just uh, do this. Like every time you kill an enemy, you level up. Looks like the God of Fear and Hunger, dude, if you say so. I don't think it looks like it very much at all, but it's been a while. Okay. So now I have to go back and get the souls and then go to bed, level up, and then, uh... We'll see where we go from there. Okay. Is chat's dead for this many viewers? Yeah, I'm I'm not a good streamer. <laughs> like, I'm the only one who can consistently pull that off that I've ever seen. It's one of the biggest demoralizing things in the world for me. Thanks for uh, pointing that out. Okay. I guess I just put everyone to sleep. That's one of the benefits of being a boring motherfucker. Okay. So let's continue this way, get those soul stones. Oh fuck, this dude's not gonna leave me be. <laughs> I guess he is blind in that eye, I wonder if that's actually a mechanic. Alright, so let's do this. Fuck, did I already get this guy as a soul stone? I did. So I'm gonna have to kill this chuckle fuck over here. It's gonna be kinda risky though. I don't really. I don't really wanna use bullets. Okay. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. like being called out like that no one's calling you out what are you talking about like nobody called you out the blame is on me like never once did i say it's people's fault or like a bad thing that people don't talk it's my inadequacy as a streamer not pinning the blame on you that's a me problem not a you problem so i don't like you misconstruing my words as if i'm trying to make you feel bad or call you out please don't do that Save and then I gotta see what the uh, what I can get here. I don't think I have the affinity for this shit. Like it won't let me get this stuff. Third eye. I wonder what that is. At this point, I'm not really worried about what is gonna be effective so much as I just want to see what everything does. Slinger? No. The the little grids in this, these games have always been kind of confusing for me, honestly. There's a skill just called Rot. Oh, Pheromones is back. That's good. No, I, I just can't get this shit yet. Okay. Thank you, President Chicken, for the 22 months. I appreciate it, dude. Thank you, thank you. Okay. Greatly raises your rev point regeneration per turn. That's pretty good. That's pretty goddamn good. 
All right. I think maybe the, the little hex and table just isn't fleshed out yet. Because I got... I was supposed to get massive affinity with a god at the beginning, and I don't think that went through. I'm pretty sure it was Grogoroth, but I can't even get the first thing that Grogoroth offers. So I have to kill those two dogs, it's the big problem. Because they they're the things that poison me, so I have to make sure that I just straight up kill them. But they take three bullets each, I think. And I need some for the lumberjack, so I'm not sure how I'm going to approach this. Wait, I didn't get that barrel. So that uh, rev up into, <laughs> into just shooting immediately is pretty powerful, it turns out. 474. Imagine if I had heroin boost on that. I guess that's what I should do from now on. Although you risk the... You risk missing, which would be a bummer. Now we can go to the basement. What's going on, Naxious? Mad noob. Why heroin makes bullets stronger? It just increases your attack stat. Which bullets are affected by. Should you take his head? I already have way too many points is the thing. Like, <laughs> I, I can't even spend the ones I already have. So I feel like it's kind of a waste of effort. Like, I really should, but I'm, I'm not gonna. Hold on. Can I do anything with this yet? Nope. How's the sequel? It's pretty good. I like it so far. The shit pit is back. Buy some food for your thrall. I have food, and I think I have a recipe book for making pies, but I need dried meat or cabbage. I'm just waiting till they... Like, I have uh, food items that heal, like, 100 hunger, so I'm just kind of waiting for them to drop to get the maximum value out of it, because I still have a lot to do. Like, the, the hardest part... Well... I don't know, if I get heroin, the everything's just gonna be flipped. Why is his name Hanky Chan? It's just that's his name. That's his mom didn't like him very much. What are you gonna do? Okay. A yellow vial. Damn, just dog shit loot all around, huh? 
the connection of this for the first one I'm starting it doesn't make you stupid dog come on uh, it's just several hundred years into the past uh, after the god of fear and hunger from the first game comes into fruition and this entire game takes place in what I presume is some sort of weird alternate alternate dimension sort of deal uh, that's facilitated by the moon god from the first game and we're basically taking place in like this game of survival called Terminal, where the objective is to be the last one standing with 14 other people. That is the gist of it. Aren't you technically his mom? No. Seeing as this is a battle royale, yes. See, that, that big ominous moon in the background is the aforementioned moon god. I'm not gonna make it to Whataburger today. Is the moon god hot? It's just a big fucking moon. It's literally... <laughs> literally just that. Okay, so... Elephant Man's gonna be a problem. Or maybe not. We'll see. I have multiple party members, so I can probably just run away from him and never actually fight him, but I kinda wanna see if I can kick his ass. I see one of the 14? Yeah, he's one of uh, the party members I have right now. I think I've seen a lot of the 14. There's a bunch at the beginning. Uh, there's one after we complete the upcoming bunker segment. Um, and there are a few that I don't think are in yet. At least not uh, at this part of the game. Hey, buddy. Yawn. See, I don't know how to get this dude to uh, cooperate with me. How the fuck did I have googly eyes? It's just born a little, uh, born a little off. Pocket Cat had to do with the Moon God last game, yes, as well as the jellyfish that uh, you could give the kid to to regenerate your limbs. So abducting children is a. Uh, a theme of the moon god, basically. If your god was Venusia? Maybe. That'd be really easy to test after this. Okay, this should be bullets. Yep. Look into this, Dev. Uh, the first Fear and Hunger is amazing. It's like this, except it's a full game. It's also, uh... There aren't guns in it, it's more of a medieval thing. But it's still amazing. Probably wanted to kill the kid before it became God. Yeah, that would make sense. Um, what should I be doing here? Original pissed a lot of people off since you have to die to learn the game. That's fun, in my opinion. That's some of the most satisfying kind of gameplay you can get. Uh, but I guess not everyone agrees with that. Which is fine. Angry motherfucker. First one on Steam it is. I wonder if I've gotten the key for that door before. It says specific key, but I don't think I found it yet. Okay, so we got a lucky coin, which is going to be good for this chest up here. Hunger's crippling my dude, so I should probably feed him. Okay. 
That motherfucker crawler. I, I, I let him get too hungry. That happens if you if you let people starve. I forgot about that. But then he uh, he gets back up after a while. Um, separate setting from the first one. Yeah, it is. Uh, well, it's the same setting, but it, way into the future, basically. I really shouldn't be giving a zombie food, but... Fuck it, dude. Precious, so far, I like it a lot. I've beat the demo, I'm just trying to find if I can, uh... Figure some extra shit out, basically. Mm. Just seeing if I can pick up on stuff that I've missed. been really cucked by not getting heroin, huh? Okay, let me see. Thank you, Master Taco X, for the 20-month resub. I appreciate it, dude. What I come into? Fear and hunger, too. The demo for it, at least. <laughs> Excuse me. Recipes yet? I cannot. and run away. Oh shit. I wasn't able to go through the doors last time. He's very fast, he is. I kind of want to see... If I can kill him without cheese, but I don't have bullets. Like, I won't do any damage if I don't have bullets. Got a bear trap? I don't want to use the bear trap on him. Guess I could. Where is he? There he is. There's our beautiful little boy. Attack one, run cheese, yeah. Okay, so let's try that again. There's gotta be a way to kill this without doing some dumb bullshit. Here. I have an idea. Let me equip this this lady. I can save ammo. Oh, apparently I can't. I don't remember being out of ammo for that. I definitely had several, uh... Oh no, I think I know what happened. I think I saved after killing the dogs. But thank you, Taciturn Dragon, for the 5 month resub. I appreciate it, dude. Double check your guns, by the way. One of mine has slightly higher attack. Yeah, I always equip the one that has higher attack. It's only a couple points, but I noticed that too early on. 
Not like Silent Hill in the first game. Yeah, it has uh, less shock value. I guess. There's still... It doesn't really feel too toned down from the other game, like, minus the, uh, the little orgies of, of furry people. What does engraving do? It depends on which god you engrave. Like, if you engrave Grogoroth, it gives you more damage. If you engrave, uh, the moon god, then it gives you more mine. Those are the only two I've unlocked. I think there are around eight total that you can do. So I'm guessing some will do defense or health or, or what have you. Can't merge during sex? Now, not that I've seen. We haven't found a circle for Sylvian yet, so maybe that'll be in the full game, but there doesn't seem to be one at this point. No orgies, sadly, no. No cannibal orgies, either. You liking this demo so far? It's pretty good. It's a lot harder, in my opinion, than the first one, which is not a bad thing at all. But it also... At least early on, the guns seem a little too effective. Elephant guy is a real asshole. Nasty elephant man. I hope I find heroin in this chest. I got a bear trap. Almost as good. Mm. I'm not sure what to do here. Like, I can't really fight because my fucking dude is too hungry and too with- uh, too much withdrawal. So... Kind of tempted to just run past the elephant. But I want to see what happens if you try to cut his head off. But I don't know if I have the ability to really kick his ass this time. I think I do. Cause I killed him before, but I didn't have the thing on me. Um. My asshole heroin addict is dying. He's pretty much only good for, uh... Good for tanking at this point. Let's just see what sticks. Tanky. I don't think I have the damage to kill him then. See, that's over a thousand to his head, so he's just gonna pop our head this time. Uh oh. Has her tails. Uh oh. What just happened?
I'm just there's no I no way I can win now. I'm just kind of playing it out to see what happens. Ah, that sucked. That was the first coin flip in combat that I've seen? Yes. So that was like a retarded amount of damage to his head. I don't even think it's worth trying to kill him. Like you need, you need. Wait, I would have to have to kill him on the first turn. I'd have to do the bear trap. I could, uh, if I had heroin for my main dude, then I could pop his head off. If I had both of them with guns. But since my main, not my main dude, but the little, the little uh, main party member who isn't a zombie, since he has withdrawal, he does like no damage and takes a billion damage. So you can garble. Well, I didn't know he had that. You can only, like, I've never survived turn two against that thing before. Okay. And when you one shot him, yeah, because the little mercenary has this thing where when you shoot guns in the overworld you just have like a percent chance to uh to kill it like i've never killed it in combat take down the mayor if you found heroin i think so i, w I wonder if i could buy heroin at the store there's a shop maybe i should try that I don't remember if he sells drugs or not, though. It's like Silent Hill X Earthbound. I, I don't think it has much in common with Earthbound. It's like its own little monster. There's not really anything I could think of that is directly analogous to this game. Alright, let's go see if this dude will sell heroin to me. Because I could really use it. It will really help. I, I, I'm i pretty sure I could kill this dude if I buffed the soldier with heroin. I mean, fuck, if I buff the main character with heroin, I still have a shot. Okay. Nope, no heroin. But, I can buy a meat pie. So I don't have to worry about hunger anymore. I wonder what happens if you go back down in the bunker after you're done with the bunker sequence, but the little thing isn't uh, killed. Dried meat for cooking? No, there's no point, because dried meat is for making a meat pie, and if you... Uh, the dried meat was three coins versus five. Like, I don't have enough eggs or wheat flour, uh, so it might as well just buy the pies. I could have bought one dried meat, but the pies are really inexpensive for some reason for how strong they are. Did naming it egg do anything? I don't think anyone thought naming it egg would do anything. I think people just like rat eggs. Okay. I think I'm just gonna circumvent this guy and try to get through and kill the mayor. Because I did kill the elephant before. It was through bullshit, but I killed him. So I just want to kill the mayor. I want to conserve uh, my shit. I also wonder what those little dirty pearls that the vagina monsters drop are. I haven't, haven't found a use for those yet. It's a lot of shit where I don't know what it's used for. Could be used in the future, not necessarily something in the demo, I guess, but... I don't know. Not as good as a bear trap, but it'll do later, Reapy. Take it easy, dude. 
Have fun dueling elephant. No, I don't think I'm worried about the elephant. I want to get the uh, the gentleman now. I want to get the zombie from this little part and then see if I can beat the shit out of the gentleman with a full party. If I find heroin, I think I can do it, but without heroin, it's going to be difficult. Because I don't have bullets either. Oh, I didn't do the double coin flip. God damn it. Uptime? Um, about six hours-ish. Sound like a real drug addict? Drugs sound good right now. Why is Levi crawling on the ground there? If they spend too long without eating, they start crawling. It was like that in the first one, too. What the fuck was that? Did you see that? What kind of landmine was that? It's shitty. The booby traps don't really seem to do anything, honestly. The booby traps seem entirely worthless. That really just seems to be the best way to deal with Elephant Head. This guy's an asshole. Deals some damage to all limbs. Doesn't deal enough to be noticeable, though. Clicking just the background? Ah, oh, there shouldn't be any clicking noises. Oh, I guess there are in the game. Okay. I don't know what the fuck that is, but I don't want to waste blue vials on it. Okay, so we need this guy's shit for a couple of reasons. I don't have enough sanity. That's right, it takes sanity. I think I have vodka, though. If you're ever, uh, if you're ever feeling loony, just drink some vodka. The red marks on them, you have the ability to engrave your guys with, like, these little, uh, sacrilegious symbols. Okay. They do, uh, sorry, sorry, it, it buffs them and increases a stat depending on which one you give them. See, I'll do it right now. Alright, so this area is kind of rough. We'll see if I get out of it in one piece. Cool vegetables. Huh. Well, shit. That went pretty fucking well. I'm still curious if you die on this floor to those guys, if they put you on the gigantic torture machine looking thing. Oh, heroin, okay. My, my sole objective is to get back to the manor and fight the gentleman right now. Fucking finally, dude. Finally got some heroin. Okay, we gotta get through this shit. There's actual heroin? Yeah, yeah, you, you uh, shoot it up in characters too, it's interesting. Alright, so we're almost done. We just gotta see what happens when we kill the gentleman. If we can kill the gentleman. He does this little thing where he says his mouth gurgles, so I'm worried what's gonna happen if he gets that off, but we'll, we'll find out. Is 
say by him. I just gotta get to the house first. I'm going the wrong way. I don't wanna risk it. Happens if you don't pick up the key down there, I wonder. I'm not sure. Calls you a good girl? Well, I am a good girl. Come on. Real good girl. Game something. The first one was crazy. In a good way. You can attempt the elephant. I've already killed the elephant before, though. Like, the only thing interesting about the elephant of note is, uh,. When you kill him, he's not actually dead. It always says he's still breathing, and he still follows you. Uh, still follows you down the elevator, even if you beat him. But his corpse will just fall down the elevator shaft, or not corpse, but his body. Have you decrypted that note yet? I haven't. Is there an option to cut his head off? I don't know because I didn't have the bone saw at the time. I guess I could go back and try to find out. I wonder if the elephant's still there in the bunker. I guess I could try it out. Let's go and see. Do some real hardcore gaming. Fuck this dude up. How unforgiving is this game? Um... No, Riel, I don't want anyone telling me anything about the game. That's why I played it tonight, because I knew if I waited a day or two, then, like, I wouldn't be able to figure out anything on my own. What the fuck, new Fear and Hunger dev game? Yup. Gonna be six clashes... Clashes, blech. Classes, judging by the hex. And How fucking crazy would it be if he actually added 15 playable characters? No more coin flips? There are. They're just not as common. Because I, I'm guessing because people didn't like them. He, he toned them down. And even when there are, you have an item that you can pick up that gives you a double roll on a, on a coin flip. So it's a lot harder to lose the coin flips now. Still. Let me see the darkness of the elevator shaft. It looks like you lose out on the opportunity to fight him if you don't fight him either of those times. Interesting. I'm sure he'll come back later, too, is the funny part. Like, uh... Sorry, that's not funny. Um, but just the interesting part is because if you beat him... He's still breathing and there doesn't seem to be a way to finish him off. So I bet you he'll come back later. He'll be like, uh... An antagonist that fucks with you throughout the game. First... Is your playthrough of the first one still on Twitch? It should be. Unless they've deleted it in the last week or two. Sort of a soft lock if you leave the key down there. I imagine he wouldn't let you use the portal until you get the key in the letter. Because that'd be a pretty big oversight. Play much RPG Maker horror games? No, not really. Not really. Uh... I play RPG Maker games from time to time, but it's definitely not my main thing. I just play whatever, pretty much. I don't really have a specific thing I play now. It's Fear and Hunger 2, it is, but it's only the demo. And we're about to be finished. I'm just trying to see if I can kill this fucked up boss. Remember when you one shot him when you went out of the elevator? He just face planted. Yeah, that was pretty funny. Likely the new Kroll Mauler.
Once Crowmaller was gone, he stayed gone, though. For the most part. Okay. Damn, I'm trying to evade these dudes with the fucking conga lines a pain in the ass. <laughs> it's just... It's rough. It's not a whole hell of a lot. I'm just finishing this up. Oh, fuck. Alright, we're here without incident. As long as the save point doesn't bug and take us to the other one, we should be ready to fight this asshole and his dumb fuck antlers. It'd be interesting if they did a double whammy on you here, where if after you kill the Dark Priest, if he's not alive, then the, uh, the mayor comes and kills you instead. That'd be pretty good. Okay. Fuck. I bugged. I wonder what's up with that. This is gonna be a long run back if I fuck up then. That's kinda that's kinda miserable. I feel like it you can only uh Oh shit. I'm stuck here too. Like I can't I can't get out. That's why you never uh you never save over files. You can just reload the other one. Did you play Fear and Hunger 1? Uh, earlier this year. Well, fuck me. The game doesn't want me to fight this asshole. I feel like with the bed, it only saves the first time you save at it, and after that it defaults to this as the, the wake-up point again. That was so long ago? Yeah, it's been a long year. Been a long-ass year, that's for sure. what 2020 is going to be like. It's probably going to be a fucking dumpster fire. We will see. Videos only go up to two months. Look at highlights. Highlights last forever. This time of pandemics. Fuck. That's not what I meant to do. I wonder what the bear trap even does. I haven't seen it actually accomplish anything yet. Like every time I've attacked him when the bear trap's out, I just kill him. 2020 will bring war, famine, and disease. Hopefully it just brings, uh, lots of cheesecake. I think that would be preferable. I think that would be far preferable. Okie dokie. Let's, uh, let's try this. This is still gonna be a fight where I feel like if I, uh... If he focuses my main dude down, then I'm just fucked anyways, but we'll see. Find out about Fear and Hunger. I was looking through GameJolt slash itch.io games, looking for stuff to play. Thank you. 
Not sure what to do here as far as weapons are concerned. Guess I'll just use the axe. Actually, no, hold on. Let's give this fella the axe. Oh shit, what's wrong with me? My my main character only has one health now. Damn, this shit's buggy as hell. Maybe it was like a hunger related thing? I don't know. But I'm uh I'm probably not gonna win this then. Still give it a shot, but this is looking unlikely. Something you equipped? I only re-equipped guns, so I don't I don't think that would be the reason. Well fuck me. Just can't catch a break. Alright, well it's showtime I guess. Let's go get let's go get that ass beat. <sighs> Trading something I just did. That's what uh that's what oh shit, well there we go. I I don't have heals though. I have one blue vial. That's really shitty. Huh? Well, you win some, you lose some. Let's give it a shot. What are we playing tonight? Uh, Fear and Hunger 2. skills does he have? Okay, nothing, nothing important. I like how I equip the gun and she's fucking... I guess I don't have bullets. That's a bummer. We got him. Surprise, surprise, you find the lion brass key. I found the lion brass key. I find the lion brass key. I found 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 the lion brass key. So, uh, I don't think you were supposed to kill that guy. Got a lot of keys. Got a lot of fucking keys. Well, good shit. Did you know that I found the lion brass key? This is a good demo, but god damn is it buggy. <laughs> it's to be expected because it's a demo, but holy shit, dude. God damn. Uh, Lion brass keys for everyone. You get a brass key, you get a brass key, yeah. You 
email the guy and ask him? Oh, I know what it opens. Because you can get it by talking to him. Occultist is capable of shooting gun. I've shot a gun several times with the occultist. I've just sculpted motherfuckers with it. It just gets fucked the longer you play it until it reaches critical mass. Email the dev and let them know you found the lion brass key. There's a shop nearby to sell all of these keys. I'm gonna be rich. Well, that's uh, that's the fear and hunger demo. I'm sure I missed some shit, but I feel like that was that was fairly thorough. I think uh, it was a lot of fun. I liked it a lot. Almost six hours of entertainment from a fucking free demo. It was buggy, but goddamn, dude. That's uh. That's pretty good for a free, a free, uh, as he describes it, small teaser. So I'm looking forward to playing the finished version. I'll probably play the other demos when they come out, too. Maybe. I don't want to burn myself out before the full game comes out. But I was interested in seeing this. Well, uh, okay. I guess that's it. You're dismissed. There are many full games with less content than that small teaser. I'm either gonna eat one burger or go to bed. I haven't decided yet. I have shit tomorrow, so I should probably go to bed. But I don't think I will. Take it easy, dudes. Thanks for watching.